Oh, what's up? How you all doing? First of all, there should be a timestamp in the top and comment below. And real quick, I just want to show you guys this, okay? This is pretty uh, pretty massive, actually. We act just got the Battlefield 6 uh, or 2042, not 6, Battlefield 2042 gameplay teaser. And the, it, it confirms the leaks, my guys. So I'm just going to let it let it play. Just going to let it play real quick in the just beginning. Got the Battlefield We're going to pause it on it. Look at that gameplay tomorrow. What are your guys' thoughts? Let me actually mute the volume here. Yo, this boy looking good, man. Uh, let me welcome all of you in. Real Galaxy, Mike, what's good? Momo, RNG, Battlefield Harry. Uh, did you change your name from Spider Harry, my guy? What if Galaxy Buzzin, Basil, Ravan, Wonder? We got uh, Slushy Talk only. That yo, this, this uh, we actually had the leaks of this. Uh, just the other day, right? And this can let me actually pause it somewhere here. Dude, the hot is looking good, man. Uh, obviously, this is Twitter compression, uh, pre alpha, right? This is uh, just the teaser video. We're gonna be seeing the full blown gameplay tomorrow. Pretty excited for that one. Look at that, man. Remind brings me back to Battlefield 3 days, dog. And it has that uh, modern, uh, not modern necessarily. It, 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 let's be real, it's kind of modern, okay? Like, let me keep a buck 50. It has that radio chatter, the, the soldier chatter uh, that we used to have in, back in Battlefield 3. And Battlefield 4. Uh, we, we have this weapon. Yo, that's giving me big Modern Warfare 2019 vibes with that scope there. Like, you can aim downside, you know, you can. I hope that you can aim downside while reloading as well. You guys like that? You yeah, yeah, like. Uh, Ab Huzz Ab Huzz coming in with 12, uh, 12 paper. What's good, man? How you doing, brother? Uh, wh where is your timer? They're actually E3 is currently live, my man. E3 is currently live. We're having different events at different times, so no need for time. Uh, Rafiq, what's up, man? I'm so excited. Oh, oh my god, it's looking amazing. I'm gonna I'm going to cry. Yo, Mike Hawk, I cannot believe that you're the one saying that. Because normally you say that that game trash, this game trash. Did we really hit 100 likes already? Yo, that's crazy, man. Thank you all for that. Uh Wonder Gurnur. What's up, man? Real Galaxy. Ab has you're a Giga Chat. Thank you for the 13 paper. How you guys feel about it? Okay, so we actually had more stuff as well. And there's a massive gameplay leak happened. Uh, detail gameplay league detail. Okay, not gameplay not gameplay. We actually have the gameplay teaser here I should have a dedicated video later on tonight man because the uh, Apparently we're in the battlefield 3 battlefield 4 maps are coming in the in the game and I'm looking at that I'm like, let's hope it's true man cuz let's be real seven maps ain't gonna cut the mustard man And if we just get seven maps that that means that they were just doing helicopters with the rulies all all the <laughs> three years Yeah, thank you for subscribing Rook. Hit the bell hit the bell so yeah, man, you know what I mean? Like, there has to be more. There got to be more because no campaign, seven multiplayer maps, get out of here, okay? We need more content, but the game looking good, all right? Just gotta keep above 50 that it's looking pretty good, man. All right, and, and look at that, dude. Look at that fire. Look at that smoke, bro. Look at the, all these buildings. Cyberfield. Uh, JDN coming in with uh, eight paper. Tok says that it looks pretty good. Uh, dude, okay, somebody cancels my man Tok. Somebody, anybody here? Anybody want to cancel the homie, uh, the big homie Tok in the chat? Cancel that man real quick, okay? Normally we don't cancel anybody. I wanna, I wanna cancel. I wanna start canceling people. You know, let me, let me, let me start canceling people. Braga, what up, dude? JDN, thanks for the eight paper, my old prince. Keen for battleful gameplay. Have some paper, king. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, man. Somebody cancel my man Tok. By the way, Tok is a homie though, so don't. Uh, don't gangbang the homie, all right? All right, let's uh, <laughs> let's check this out here. Look, look at that, yo, this is looking good. Look at that. I want to take my pants off and hump those uh, skyscrapers, bro. I'm so horny. Yeah, uh, bro. Yo, Marshall, your comment is getting blacklisted. Watch out, man. YouTube don't like what you say, boy. Uh, but, dude, look at that. Look at that. Where's Call of Duty? Where's Activision? Where's Activision? I don't see Activision. Dude, literally, I, I see nobody talking about Season 4. I believe that Blame Truths talk about it. Uh, 402 Thunder talked about it, but they all are they all are saying hey nobody cares, but they're still making videos about it, right? I, I love those homies though. Gurnu, thank you for subscribing. Yo, Gurnu, you're why are you unsubbing and resubbing? Hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, you crazy, crazy guy. Alright, let me put put this uh back, boy. Alright, we're gonna put it here. We're gonna be having a pre-show as well. We're gonna have Far Cry gameplay most likely. We're having Ubisoft, we're having the Xbox, uh, we're having the Battlefields, uh, we're having Take Two as well. Take two, but I don't know, man. There was a leak list of games yesterday, last night, that uh, that has leaked bunch of games. I haven't fully read it, but I glanced over it, and there was no mention of GTA 5 Remaster. Now, if that leaked list is correct, that means that Take Two will not show us the GTA 5 Remaster gameplay. And if that's really true, I mean, I don't understand what Take Two is doing. Like, 
like we're five months out we're five months out and we haven't haven't seen the the gameplay of gta Fire remaster martin j thank you for subscribing martin b in the end what, what are you good man thank you for subscribing hit the bell hit the bell hit the bell don't forget that i'm on uh what's good man emmanuel nice to see you nice to see you too cool uh Killen, when does it start it's already live it's already live they're having the pre-show but uh we're we're having uh, the ubisoft it's e3 is live right now but we're having the ubisoft pre-show in uh, one hour and then we're gonna have the stream and then it's like a bunch of other stuff as well like I, I can change up there are multiple streams happening at once let me show you other streams as well there are a bunch of streams happening but in the meantime let me show you guys this if you're just coming on hey we have a little bit of that gameplay here thanks for subscribing what's good how you how you doing thank you all for 193 likes will battlefield uh battlefield 2024 uh, uh tw it's 2042 even i made mistakes like that you know we flipped the numbers uh it's not gonna be shown tomorrow the gameplay the gameplay will be shown tomorrow not today that's what i meant to say all right let me actually switch up the streams here they're doing the what's this called gorilla is live right now gorilla collect is live currently they're doing interviews and shit no gameplay so we're gonna stick with the far cry for now and the, the battlefield here man what up slushy how are you doing brother Metro is going to return. Uh, there is a big leak going on that going around that, and it actually happened last year as well. Where, uh, not last year, I should say, just a couple of months of a uh, couple of months back, that they said that we're gonna be having a Battlefield hub that will bring back the OG Battlefield three and Battlefield four maps, and that rumor is going around. It's a rumor though, so don't let your don't let your dogs out because uh, so many leaks have already come true for Battlefield. Like we had this shot. Uh, of the map with the hut so that was actually true yo thickness up thank you for subscribing hit the bell i really hope that battleful hub leak is true but it's too good to be true it sounds too good to be true one in the chat if you would love to see battleful 3 and battleful 4 maps as well uh with the the seven maps because seven maps that's not too much right but another argument here is that one battleful map is like one billion call of duty maps if that makes sense look at that dog look at that that shit looking lit bro that shit looking lit uh, thank you for subscribing, but appreciate you, big man. How you doing? How's the wife and the children? Marshall, appreciate you subscribing. What's good? Uh, what's your fight prediction on the YouTube? I don't even know who's fighting. I all I know is that uh, Deji is fighting, and there's another mofo. Who's that? What's that mofo's name? I forgot that mofo's name. Like there are a bunch of people fighting. I don't I don't know their names. The only guy I know is Deji. I hope Deji wins, man. We need the homie Deji winning. I know there's controversy with KSI, Deji. I, I'm not even involved in that. I'm not even sure what's up. I like both of them are brothers and like I don't even know the controversy to be honest. So but uh hopefully they're good right now. I don't know if they're good. I mean, is, is there still controversy between uh, KSI and D Deji? Let me know. But Deji's fighting who? Yeah, I, I know about Gib. I know about Gib. He, uh... <laughs> yeah, who doesn't know about Gib, man? I, I hope Gib wins. I hope Gib and Deji wins, alright? Uh, shut that. Thank you for subscribing, man. Uh, who you with, man? Who you with? When is the fight? Is it tonight? I think it's tonight, right? Today? Okay, t it's Saturday today, right? If it's Saturday, I guess it's today. Or, it, okay, it's it gotta be today or tomorrow. I'm not sure if it's tonight or tomorrow. It has to be today or tomorrow. Let, let me know, man. Far Cry looks laggy. They're good now. Who the F is Gib? I, uh, he basically lost. I, I don't know. Like, personally, I don't know. Tonight is UFC. It's today? Yeah, tonight. Yo, you guys on that. Yo, Capital E. Yo, it's time. Uh, let's check it out, bro. Aj UFC dekhte or aj ye YouTuber or TikTok ki fight dekhte bro. Maza aega. Dekhte hai, Tell the, tell the squad, man. We're gonna Discord that out. Boo! Yeah, it's tonight. Okay, so we're having UFC. Yo, UFC is tonight as well? What? That's crazy, man. Thank you for the 237 likes, y'all are stud muffins. Any news on server browser? There is no news on that. If you don't get that, then you already know skill based matchmaking. Uh, yes, I am uncancelled. Now, nah, let's cancel the homie talk. Let's not uncancel him. Of course, just come on Discord like usual. Yeah, let's check it out, man. I'm, I'm hyped. We need you to join uh, YouTube Boxing. Do one day, man. That's uh, the one day, man. You, you know that one day. We'll, we'll do that. Personally, like, uh, I need to get taller, man. I really need to get taller because... Uh, but, man, Mayweather is short as well, right? Mayweather is short. Yo, what are your guys' thoughts on Mayweather? Nobody say short. Nobody say short. Nobody say short. Uh, what are your thoughts on Mayweather versus the, the, the big man? Okay, so, like, well, let me actually switch up the stream here, man. So you guys are... What are your thoughts on the Mayweather versus... The, the 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 Logan Paul, how you feel about that boy? Like, did you like that? Did you not like that? 
let, let me check out this stream here, man. Let me put up another stream. Okay, so we got another stream. All right, so that one is good. Let me put it back up. All right, no, I just have to have the audio here. I just have to have the audio. Let me judge it. A lot of people say that Logan Paul clearly won. I'm like, hey, yo, let, I, I'm gonna blind myself. I'm gonna blind myself. Like, I'm so sick of this shit, dude. People say that Jake, uh, Logan Paul won. But honestly, man, say whatever, but... Like, he did fought. He did fought. He did fought, though. But, like, I'm gonna read all of your guys' comments after I blind myself with a lamp. Because I'm, I'm sick of this shit, alright? Alright, let me actually check my chat here. I'm legally blind, boys. <laughs> legally blind? <laughs> Trash fight? Dude, it was hard. Okay, let me actually put that here, okay? Smash the like button if you agree. It was basically that. It was the Huggies. Anybody want free Huggies? One in the chat if you want free Huggies. Uh, thank for the 267 likes. Love you, Alme. Alright. Anybody want free free Huggies? Uh, control is free on Epic Games. Yep. Get that game. Logan won, uh, Logan won. Those are some people high shit. Let's be real, man. You cannot beat the, the years of experience that Mayweather has. I'll say that. But, yeah, let's, uh, let's be honest, man. Bias aside... Uh, memes and sarcasm aside, Logan Paul, dude, takes courage, takes, uh, uh, say whatever, you know, say whatever about Logan Paul, like, I'm not a fan, I'm not a hater of him, but he's successful, the reason everybody talks about it, because, hey man, there's a reason why everybody talks about them, like Jake and Logan, right, uh, but, but the thing is that, dude, he fought, he fought Mayweather, who would have thought that, you know, they, uh, like an amateur YouTuber would fought a boxer, that, that's crazy, right, like, we're really in a simulation, but, there's no way Logan... I mean, boxing is... Dude, if you land a good punch, it doesn't matter, right? It, it's all about skill and experience, but there's a little bit of luck too, right? But hey, man, they made money. Who cares? Uh, it was a huggy huggy match. Who cares, right? Let's be real. Uh, tonight is another YouTuber fight. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I feel like that we need... Uh, what, what's this called? We need Bleach to... Anybody got Bleach? Anybody got Bleach out here? Who uh, who should Skizzalikes fight? Uh, I will fight... Uh, uh, who should I fight? Let me know, man. Let me know. Should I fight? Please, no Huggies? That vampire? They should change the name of boxing to Huggies. Especially if YouTubers are gonna fight, okay? They should change the name of YouTube boxing match to Huggies match. Mr. Delic JD. Oh, anybody shaking today? Oh, oh, I'm shaking! Anybody shaking after the the Battlefield 6? Uh, I always say Battlefield 6. <clears throat> It's Battlefield 2042, but hey man, same shit, different day, right? Uh, you know, six days in Fallujah, yes my man, yes my man, how you feel about it? Skizzle versus Printer? No? Okay, Mike Hawk, you should fight MBG. <laughs> uh, but he's a Sony Pony though, I like the man, I like the homie. But he's a full-blown Sony Pony though. Like, I'm a Sony Pony too, I'm a Sony Pony too, but I also uh, talks about the Xbox out here. I try to be fair, but uh, sometimes, uh, you know, that Sony, the inner Sony Pony likes to engage. Uh, recently, yo, Phil Spencer be wildin' though, yo, Phil Spencer from Xbox uh, took massive shots at the Sony Ponies. Love him or hate him though, but he was spitting facts. He was spitting facts. I don't care what you motherfuckers out there saying, but he was spitting facts, alright? Uh, he was uh, saying that oh, uh, Sony, there are other gaming companies that they would sell their platforms, their systems, and then they would put their games on PC like years down the road. He said something like that. I'm paraphrasing. Like this is not the exact quote, but that's basically the gist of it. Uh, put years later and they charge it again. They double charge it. But we over on the Xbox, we put it day one. And these are facts though. Like I'm a Sony pony, but uh, these are facts, right? Like let me just keep about 50. Man, I cannot wait for the E3 tomorrow. The E3 is today, bro. What do you mean? But you mean the the uh quality games uh, but you mean the 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 xbox live stream tomorrow yeah man I, I wish that playstation was doing their stream too to be honest it's all up to xbox to save the 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 gaming community tomorrow because summer game fest was a snoozer man let, let me just let me let you know let me tell you what bro wild goose gaming coming in with two paper battlefield 2042 got me hyped more than ever same here man the only thing that i'm genuinely worried about is the the hack that happened 780 gigabytes of hack that took place at EA. I mean, people are people are happy that it happened. I'm like, bruh, like, dude, Battlefield is the only good game coming out, and let's hope that it does not affect that game. You know what I mean? Uh, thank you for the two paper, brother. But that's the only bad bad news about Battlefield. Otherwise, like, the game is looking good, dude. The game is looking good. Uh, Luke says, when does E3 start? It's already live. It's already live, but we're waiting for a Ubisoft pre-show, and then they're gonna be an actual stream. 
the the E3 has started. Like uh, there are a bunch of interviews happening and stuff, but I know none of you guys, none of you motherfuckers care about interviews and shit. So we're just uh, wa watching the lab. We're watching the lab. Uh, what game is this? Uh, I think it's Watch Dogs, right? I think this game is gonna carry us till. All right, I'll let, I'll let the experts talk right now. Do you think Watch Dogs is gonna carry us till GTA 6? Because we know Cyberpunk couldn't even carry us till GTA 5 Remastered. You know, harsh words, but these are facts. Toke is crying for Call of Duty 2021 trailer. Trailer, you know your audience. Yeah, man. Like I know all of you motherfuckers out there. Like y'all just, y'all are a tough crowd, man. You guys are a tough crowd, bro. Like. But, but it's fine. It's completely fine. You know, it's 2021, dude. So, tough crowd, tough crowd, tough crowd. <laughs> tough crowd. Ah, GTA RP carrying, dude. One of my IRL friend, he's literally streaming my stream on second channel. He, ha he has been hooked on GTA RP. He has constantly been playing that. Let me show you this. I gotta, I gotta sip water here, but in the meantime, I can show you this. Let me change up the battle. But one of my real life friend, bro, he's completely hooked on GTA RP, which is, which is sad. He, he wakes up. That's all what he plays, you know. That's all what he plays. It's kind of sad, kind of sad, kind of sad. But how you guys feel about this? You like it? You like the HUD? Let me pause it here. You like the HUD? How you feel about the HUD? One if you like it, two if you don't like it. And they clearly say pre-alpha. And the guy who leaked this gameplay the other day, now, uh, right now this is official. This is official, but it was leaked uh, just the other day. And the guy who leaked it, he ended up getting gangbanged by EA. So basically EA caught the leaker. He caught the leaker. Can I get some Fs in the chat, man? Because that leaker was giving us the goods, but sadly he got caught. There are uh, there's still a lot of other leakers too. So, eh, it looks cool. Why you say eh, dude? It looks very good, bro. Like, what do you mean, man? Let me pause it somewhere here. A lot of ones, some twos. Look, yo, look at that, dude. Look at that. Look at that. The game the game the gaming community will never be satisfied. Yo, thank you for the four paper brother. I can't do GTA 5 no more. Yeah, I feel you man. Same here. Thank you all for 320 likes. Yeah, dude, YouTubers have already played it, dude. Uh Westy, Jack Frags, all the bigger YouTubers already played the game. Like they played it like a while ago, bro. That's why they were not allowed to say anything. That's why they weren't making leak videos, right? Like otherwise they would have. Because they were under NDA and they couldn't talk about the game, right? But a lot of people thought that the leaks were fake, man. Like, but if you're OG or new here, uh, I want to know how many of you guys thought, like, be honest with me. How many of you thought that the leaks for Battlefield were fake? One, if you thought they were fake. Two, if you thought that they were legit. Uh, be honest. And it's perfectly fine. You don't want to believe everything, right? Uh, and there's another leak going on that we're going to be seeing Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 maps under Battlefield Hub in the game. I hope that rumor is true. Keep in mind, that's still our rumor. Uh, Bill, I'll have a video on that uh, tonight, hopefully. Bill Knight, thank you for subscribing. Some ones, a lot of twos. Okay, okay, we have a lot of the, the Giga Chads out here. But it's fine if you did not believe, though. Uh, but it happens every year, bro. Like, last year we had Call of Duty 2020 leaks. Before that, we had Modern Warfare 2019. Warzone leaks. Uh, people did not believe, but it turned out to be legit. Okay, let me pause that here. Let me see what else is happening here. Is that an interview? Okay, uh, let's get back on the this stream. Okay, I got so many streams open. There are so many streams happening. <laughs> get a burp here. All right, let me know if the audio is good. Thank you for subscribing. Hit the bell. Hit the bell, my guy. But what is that one game you want to see at E3? Don't say Battlefield. Don't say Battlefield. Something other than uh, Battlefield. I want to know what game you guys are into. Thank you for subscribing, Jeno. What's up? Why Sony's not attending E3 would have been fun. They're likely gonna do their own stream. The only question here is that will they do it by the end of uh, end of this month or next month? I hope it's by the end of this month, man. We need that. We need that God of War gameplay, man. I would say God of War, Far Cry 6. Yeah, Far Cry 6. We're gonna have that today. Battlefield is tomorrow. 
like, guys, we're gonna get GTA 6 at E3 2077. Cyberpunk. Uh, thank you for the video. Hit the bell. Skate 4. Thank you for the 5 paper trash. Love you, brother. The homie trash. That game. Gnurs. Thank you for, uh, thank you for the 5. GNRs. Gnurs. Uh, the Ubisoft, uh, the Ubisoft Star Wars and Starfield. Yeah, we're gonna have, I, I think they're gonna show some Starfield. Maybe, maybe. That's a big maybe, man. Red Dead 8. We're gonna get that probably in 2088. Cyberpunk. Uh, Call of Duty 2021. Yo, if Battlefield flops, man, I'll be mega sad. I think, if Battlefield genuinely, like genuinely though, if Battlefield flops, I will genuinely never be excited for any game. Because, like, I remember being super hot. Yo, thank you for the five, brother. Uh, thank you for subscribing, Casey. Hit the bell, hit the bell. I was genuinely excited for Cyberpunk, man. They had me in the first half, right? Uh, and now, I'm like, big excited for Battlefield. Battlefield gotta be good. Gotta be good, 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 gotta be good. Gotta be good. Uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2. What up, Kimi? How are you doing? If you had a time machine, gaming would be better. Yeah. Uh, it's not going to... It's not going to... It's gonna bang. Yeah, it's gonna be a banger. 100%. 100%. We just need more BAP. We just need more BAP. Uh, cause salmon maps, uh, yeah, like we need more maps, we need more maps. How you feel about salmon maps? You think that's plenty? You think that's not enough? How you feel? The game is looking good, 100%. But I wish that we had like at least 10 maps though, you know what I mean? Cause 10 maps sound good, man. Uh, thank you for subscribing, Salman Hassan. Are they Salman? Thank you for subscribing, brother. Salmon maps good or bad? Yo, Kaseho, TikTok will be Kaseho, brother. Ups no, man. Yeah, Garn Pergi Battlefield game ka, gameplay ka wait karte karte or apps na kya hal chal? Noodle, how you doing? Good for one mount? It's fine, I guess. Yeah, I, I know, David. I've been saying that one Battlefield map is like 10 billion Call of Duty maps. I've been saying that, but still, like seven different settings. I wish we had uh, 10 maps, man. Just just need a little bit more, man. E3 pre show in 10. Yeah. And Ubisoft pre show in one hour. Uh, the, uh, currently E3 is live though. E3 is uh, they had that Like everybody's live right now. Campaign versus multiplayer. I'll go with multiplayer in terms of Battlefield though But I love single-player games a lot, but uh, and for the same goes for Call of Duty, right? Like I would go with call But right now Call of Duty multiplayer eh. like I don't care about Call of Duty whatsoever like like I really genuinely don't care which is sad cuz I I grew up with the series and I love it and I want it to be good and I hope it's good because that way we will have two games to play, two good FPS games to play. And if Halo is good, people who love Halo and people who love Call of Duty and uh, Battlefield, they would have three games to play. So I, I hope all, all of these games are good. Like, why would you want uh, one game to turn out trash, another game to not turn out, uh, or turn out good or trash, right? Like, I think, I hope everything is good, right? Because that way we will have, uh, all of us will be happy. I want to see the homie smiley. Uh, thank you for the fives, dude. Yesterday was listening to Call of Duty Black Ops. Yo, what up, Matters? How you doing, brother? New sub, hello? Hit the bell, hit the bell. Yesterday was listening to Call of Duty Black Ops during the workout. Felt so nostalgic, but sad at the same time because Call of Duty nowadays is so bad. Act about me! Yeah, dude, Call of Duty is just... I'm big sad. Big sad. I'm big sad about Call of Duty. Like, Season 4 is... You guys... How you guys feel about Season 4? One, if it's good. Two, if it's eh. How you feel? Look at this. I think I'm gonna be blasting this. I'm gonna be blasting this here. You wanna see that? You wanna... You wanna, you wanna see that? You wanna oh, shake? Oh, I'm shaking! You wanna shake? You wanna... You, you guys wanna shake? Uh, let me get back here. I think I'll blast this constantly. One, two, three. Uh, but just keep in mind, if you're somebody, I know Tok is here, he's a massive Call of Duty fan. Uh, yo, Tok, how you feel about Season 4? Be honest, be honest. I Memes and sarcasm aside, be honest. Like, I love Call of Duty, alright? I really do it, but I just cannot play it anymore. I just cannot play it. Uh, I will be playing the, the upcoming Call of Duty game. We'll be doing the reveal streams and whatnot. 100%, I'll do that, you know, I'll do that. But be honest, be honest. Be honest. Don't be, uh, don't, don't, uh, throw your bias aside. Be honest, all right? You're not getting paid by Activision, all right? Daddy Activision is not gonna give you the, he's, they're not gonna give you from the back. They're not gonna give you a BJ, so be honest. Be honest. Yo, what up, Brahmin? How you doing, brother? What up, dude? Yo, Brahmin, how you feel about, uh, Battlefield? How you feel about Battlefield? 
You hype, you hit in the G spot. Uh, how you feeling, man? Two, ones, twos, 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 twos. Someone just died. In the Euros, like dead, dead. What's up? What's up? How you doing? It looks like any other season. Tok is cringe. He will say you're cringe, slushy. Uh, slushy punk. Uh, 24, uh, 2077. What are you streaming uh, today, Skizzle? Ubisoft, E3, PS5, Xbox uh, reveals. Yo, what up, Shadow? How you doing, brother? Uh, yo, Jagu, uh, Switch, Chupi uh, Switch. Chupi Switch. Chupi Switch. Switch. Alright. Was just uh, talking to a friend over on the Facebooks, man. Uh, in the Francais. How many of you guys speak French? You guys speak French? You guys speak French? Uh, Halo over Battlefield? Nah, bro, man. Okay, you're, you're probably a fan. You, you capping. Tell me you capping. Yo, Galaxy, I, I know Galaxy's a huge fan of Halo. Uh, ga uh, Halo or Battlefield Galaxy? I know, yo, Galaxy. Be honest. Don't cap. Don't cap. No cap. No cap. No cap. No cap. No cap pr uh, Pro Max, okay? We don't want cap Pro Max. No cap recap. No cap recap. I live in France. Uh, so you uh, parlez français, my guy? Bonjour. One language, I suck. French is hard. It is. Alright, let me actually... Oh, oh, I'm shaking! Let me put that here. Oh, shit. The gadget from Elusi, it's really hard to get around it. Uh, operators have to have a pretty specific... Anybody in True Rainbow? ...to get rid of it easily. Uh, something with explosives, no Halo is better. Say a grenade or a gun six. Okay, we're galaxy. That will help you to get rid of it. But if you I cannot don't choose have those, you have to get into the. I cannot choose between the the two. They're both awesome. Okay, well that's fair. That's fair. That's fair enough. I, and, and that's what I'm saying. Like, Call of Duty is different. Battlefield is different. I hope both of them are good. And Halo is different as well. And if you like all three of them, well, dude, shit, this this year is gonna be good. Far Cry better. Uh, but Far Cry is a different game the though. Uh, learning French doing good. Casi Pride. J'aime de Kuji. J'aime de Kuji. I probably spelled that wrong, but ye. Je suis désolé ici, mon français. I speak four languages. I'm a Giga Chad. I speak six. I speak six. I speak the language of bullshit. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Uh, turn it up or dislike. But what, dude? Okay, I'll, I'll turn it up. Don't dislike me. Uh, thank you all for 416 likes. Can we get 420 likes? To get surprised uh, by the Banshee, similar to go, man. how we play uh, Proximity Alarms, for example. And also for attackers, uh, you'll have more options to deal with it. Hey man, don't. Hey, where, where's my. Where, let me pull that here, man. Mira and Maestro have don't dislike, okay? Don't dislike, or I'll shoot. Key aspects of Rainbow Six that is the Intel. The both Intel. help you to control uh, pretty wide areas, either with the Mira on, on a specific wall or a Maestro in at the end of a room. So they bring a lot of Intel and they are pretty strong with that. We're I speak alien. A new mechanic. Uh, Thank you for subscribing, Blue Door. Class. That the will help players to the get close to these gadgets. Uh, oh use shit! Look at that. Against their glasses and shatter them. Our shatter objective them. here was to I can't wait allow for Battlefield. the attackers to have more tools to get rid of these gadgets. So they are not that What's dependent them on their load that they're carrying. Uh, when they get shattered, uh, they obstruct the view from the other side, either the observation tool or in the case of the mira from the other side of the wall. For Maestro, uh, you can shatter the uh, small doors he has, and that will make the Maestro unable to see when the doors are closed. Uh, he'll need to open them, and once they're open, they can, he can shoot as always and also gather intel. And for the VP cameras, it's more of the same. You can get close to the camera. One if you're into uh, Rainbow, two if you're not. Did you see what happened to yours? Now, uh, what happened? Yeah, this is a pre-show. This is a pre-show. The actual stream is happening soon. Yeah, man, I, I actually covered the news yesterday. EA did get hacked. Uh, will remain connected. So you don't see, but you can hear what's going on, which is also a, an interesting piece. Some big claps in the football this match? is not going to radically affect these gadgets. Uh, Someone, somebody really died? How? Giving more uh, options to the player. A player collapse uh, might be a hard time. Oh, damn, dude, that's a, a that's a... They are close to Amira. Or close to a maestro, and they are. Uh, I hope they survive, man. Without some of you guys are saying them, they died. They could use the melee uh, to shatter the, the Rip, glasses, dude. and they will gain uh, that advantage. Thank you for subscribing, Brian. 
really in a uh, yo the damn that's that's doesn't look that different we've created a new bfx and a new sound effects uh i think we've achieved to make it easier to understand where the limit of it is limit but yeah it's, it's not that different we also made some changes in the damage so in the past uh, the damage was decreasing uh, while you were inside the smoke area, but the new damage is going to remain stable during all the time when you are inside. Currently, uh, depending on how the canister is placed, the cylinder will deploy uh, in weird ways sometimes, making the His name gas was through, through the walls or even the floors and ceilings. Uh, sometimes this is used uh, Thank you for subscribing, by accident, Jacob. and sometimes Love it your is brother. intended, and even some uh, default plans in some maps uh, can be denied with, with this uh, small glitch or strategy, let's say. So strategy. we've included a new propagation system that is based on the current fire propagation system. Yo, for how long this ha this game has been going on for? Like five years? How, how long? How long? Because Rainbow Man, uh, I only played one game. I know um, uh, a ton of my friends love it, but they don't play it that much nowadays. I don't know. You're gonna choose you on or no? Gonna put it me. He's in the locker room now. I I hope he's good. People are saying he's dead. Some are saying he's in the locker room. So does that mean he survived? I hope he survived. Christian Eriksen collapsed. Okay, let me check that. Let me Google that real quick. Like I don't watch football, soccer. You call it football or soccer? Don't simp, don't simp. I know we have a vamen right now. Don't simp. When you need to see it. I know the homies would like to hear what what she says. Eliminated operators. Here are user experience designer Sebastian Francois and game designer Matthew Lacombe. Francois. Lacombe. Uh, we've all done this. We, you enter a room that was thrown and suddenly you die to a wall. Uh, yeah, we're tackling the bullet hole. Yeah, I, I won't play the video. Shooting a small we're on YouTube. meter in wall and then try to peek through it. Benoit, Benoit, Benoit. Francois, well. these are like the the classic, uh, typical uh, uh, French people name. Like I'm in I'm in Montreal, so there are a lot of Benoits, a lot of uh, Francois. Uh, just like how you know Yuri, Dimitri, these are like the the the, the names of Russian people. Bro, someone collapsed. Yeah, man, that's sad. The issue now, now with football de Francois. You guys call it football or soccer? We call it soccer here. I, I did not make it, okay? Understand that they made it, so don't be offended. I know people get offended over that little stuff as well. But I don't I don't, I don't call it soccer. It's just that they call it here. Why no timer? Because they're live. They're live right now. Uh, is there PS5 live stream? Uh, no. No PS5. But we're gonna have PS5 games revealed, though. PS5 and Xbox. Thank you for subscribing, Farhan. I want you to join the amount of intel without the, the frustration and issues that comes with an actual body. So another, yeah, another benefit of the icon will also make it much easier for you to know who died. Because we know that sometimes with the, the skins that we release, not necessarily easy. And also just the way the body falls. So yeah, the icon will also Soccer? give you like more... Americano? Like a more precise Football? Amount. Might make the game look a bit less realistic. Yeah, in Canada they the, call it soccer. The main goal with that is competitive integrity. It's something we are striving for. Thank you for the having code. Been an issue it's for a while. It's a bell. Issue. Uh, we've seen it recently. We call uh, it Smackna. But, uh, but we are really striving for competitive integrity, and, uh, and we think this change is for the better. Change it for the better, Ubisoft. Another commitment we made at the future of Siege reveal was to refine core gameplay elements like the health and armor system, the way barrel attachments work, and the death experience. Let's go again to 7 Don't sim, don't sim, don't sim. Changes. Don't sim. As Dominicans call it football. Uh, currently, the armor system is based on damage modifiers. And we already have a lot of damage modifiers in the game, like with limb penetration, wall penetration, uh, drop off damage over distance. So there's already a lot regarding damage modifiers. So the armor system in there makes it really hard for you to know uh, what is the impact of, of this. So when does the event begin? Like sometimes uh, 2 p.m. Armor, you just 2 like Eastern. picking a slower operator. You don't really know what is the advantage of picking that operator. Guys, I will go take uh, a piss so and I will be right back, okay? One minute, in one minute. We're just going to be converting uh, armor to health. So that means that a one armor operator will still have 100 HP. But then a uh, two armor operator will have 110 HP, and then a three armor operator will have 125 HP. 
So obviously with the change, um, Rook needed to change too, and like a slight change. So now Rook will provide like an extra 20 HP uh, to, to, to his teammates. The intent of the change is just to make it much more tangible for you to know uh, what armor means in the game. So now it's health. And also we want you to be able to tell at any given time uh, how much health you have left. So that should help you uh, take better decisions also. Uh, should you engage in that fight or not? So we want to give, also give you more information. Uh, so we took the opportunity of changing health also to, um, to change Finca. Uh, Finca currently is kind of an exception because you just have a temporary boost um, to your health. So we, we wanted to remove that and just make it like a regular heal. It's been a while since we touched the uh, muzzle attachments. Those are receiving some changes so they are more clear to the players. When you keep one of them, you will have a better time understanding what they do. Um, because currently, while well, you ask your friends, you ask a, someone on Twitch what they use, but we want to make sure that the players have All right, I'm the back. choice and World they record. know the variety of stuff World they, record run, they, boy. they do to a weapon. The compensator is mostly changing Did I miss to GTA really 6 gameplay? only affect the left and right recoil. So if you're a big fan of the Scorpion, but you're missing... Yeah, there's going to be a Far Cry. could be a good, uh, a good idea to equip the compensator on. There, there has to be Far Cry. With left and right recall, this is the attachment you want to use now. For the Flash Rider, now it's only affecting the hop time. So this means that if a gun kicks too high, too quickly for you, you will be looking at the Flash Rider. So this leaves us... You missed GTA 6 gameplay? Damn it, dude. Vastly different. We have the muzzle Damn it, man! Centers, you missed God of War Ragnarok the gameplay? Flash Rider that Thank helps you, you not go Hit the too ball. high, too fast. And the compensator that helps you with the left and right movement. And we are not changing the VFX or the fire that comes out of the barrel. Everything will be. I didn't touch it, feelable. Chase. I mean, Thank you, you will, for the fire, man. One, uh, I didn't touch it. I didn't touch it. Notice a difference. That's the goal. Like I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Like when I actually live stream, and if I have to go take a piss, I do it fast, man. Cause, uh, uh, cause we live, man. I cannot let you guys hang in like that, man. Cause uh, people talk shit, and you know what I mean. Like people would be bullying each other in chat, so I gotta be doing it live or uh, doing doing it fast. But normally, I do wash my hands. Anybody? One in the chat if you wash your hands before taking a piss and then wash it afterwards. There are people out there that, that wash their hands before and not after. I'm like, just get that out, okay? But I wash it after. I wash it after. So it can be an operator, a gadget. I wash it after. Uh, there is a weapon, the pillow. The second I phase, brother. Uh, is the replay the phase. So now you, it's, there's no, not a lot of like, like for real, if you wash your hands before, and not after, so you like, you're a different breed. You're a different breed. You will be able to skip uh, uh, all you're the an alien. Before. So you will Literally. be able to go as fast as you want into the support phase. One of the intentions of working the death sequence was to, uh, was to also keep you in the action. Keep and you in the action. that makes total sense also with the gameplay after death that we are trying to introduce uh, currently on the TS. So the Threes, twos, ones, what? It's okay. Anybody said one? <laughs> just transition as fast Five? as you can into your observation. Yo, is that? Okay. Keep let, uh, uh, guys, we need we need to cancel Zed in the chat. We need to cancel Chase. We need to cancel Zombie Killer. We have the waifu out here. Okay, let me play this. Which introduces the ability to control drones and gadgets after you die. This is still in development and is not launching with Northstar, but we are bringing it to the test server and we want your feedback. To tell you more about one of the most impactful features for the future of Siege, please welcome game director Orly DeBont. Yeah, guys, it's not launching with Nordstar. Uh, it's not launching with Nordstar, but it's still coming. She happy though. She happy. Okay, that's very good. That's very good. That's very good. I think the test server uh, it's server? an environment for the environment. player to experiment. Uh, I love the French feature. accent though. And, uh, and to give feedback on this feature. Thank you for subscribing, brother. It will be very helpful for the team uh, to adapt and readjust. In attack side and defender side, we have added some gameplay elements, so for players, after their operators are dead. For attack side, players can players. control and move their own drone. So, and just to be clear, uh, you cannot control the, the drones of another player. Uh, also, uh, we Lots have of kids in uh, here. some Bruh. feedbacks. Uh, when the owner dies, uh, automatically on the regular drones, and it's only on regular drones, uh, antennas are deployed on the, on the drones. So, player can is uh, if the drone is uh, controlled by uh, a dead player or by an alive player. The ability of the observation tools can be used 
So that means a dead player who plays zero, for example, but can use the laser from the Argus camera. Camera. On the side, uh, Echo, Maestro, and Modi can control the laser. Don't look to laser and turn it on Halo. No Halo, man. Also, no Halo. No Halo. He looked too much, man. Uh, oh, what's my, my bad? My bad, guys. My bad. So we my bad. My bad. The bulletproof camera. Bulletproof so uh, no, camera. You can rotate uh, the camera and shoot an MP dart uh, to disable. Uh, Attacker electronic gadget. Yeah, what's your guys favorite accent? Let me know man. I love Russian and French and whenever whenever French people speak in English with the accent Player camera rainbow uh, six siege not uh, not uh, not the star. I, I love the I love it very very much, you know, very very much. I love it Russian and French my favorite African as well African as well to they found us. them to track uh, the number of regular drones uh, their team has destroyed or captured. So this uh, is to this. encourage defenders um, to be aware of the importance of destroying drones, especially uh, bah, in the context where dead players can focus on droning uh, them out. So uh, I'm very excited by this uh, new feature because um, you can still have an impact Nigerian on the better? outcome of the world. Yo, how do you do that? Every day man on the block. Can you speak Arabic? Uh, no, I don't speak Arabic. I speak Urdu, which is closer in uh, in writing, but it's not. It's completely different. It's got the everyday man on the Yaman, Yaman. I love the Yaman accent, Yaman. Man on the black man, black on the man, black, black. man on the black man, man on the black man. For example, man. you can shatter the glass of the mice enemy tourette uh, with enemy you have your lane i love effect. that accent and we have also some other plane I, I i'm personally pakistani and i love the pakistani accent a lot you don't say school you say a school a school pencil pepsi you don't say pepsi uh, you don't say pepsi you say pepsi you a pepsi pepsi any indian out here any pakistani out here let me know in chat man a school to take careless fights early in the world and uh, not care about dying. So even if the change uh, means that uh, dying will be a, a bit less punishing than it's been before, uh, but we still... Uh, and, and you don't say ice cream, you say ice cream, ice cream. Yeah. You know, uh, balance Big uh, a life Big game shock. is without end, and this uh, evolves uh, constantly. Thank you all for watching our reveal don't of say North Star. The test server will be going live on Tuesday, May 25th, and we hope to see you there. Now, for one last reveal, a realistic Hibana figurine inspired by the game. This highly detailed figurine comes with a unique code to unlock an exclusive weapon skin and is now available for pre-order. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you yeah, on a lot the of test people, server. A lot of people who are saying ice cream, your comments getting blacklisted. Just click show. Yeah, man, like that's the accent apparently. Oh shit, Assassin's Creed Valhalla? Wait, what? Bordeaux. The Assassin's Creed family. When we started Wrath of the Druid, the team was truly excited and boiling with ideas. First, boiling. it was very important to us to treat Island and its history with respect. History. We decided to work with Espert and we've done a lot of research about this time period. Then we decided to spice it up a little bit by adding a long lost Celtic mysticism. <coughs> it allowed us to bring new kind of challenge to the player and refresh his whole experience. Alongside Mon new français. system, like the trading post mechanic, all this brings a brand new adventure in Ireland adventure. for the Assassin's Creed Valhalla players. Valhalla players! I love it, man. I love the French when accent. When Avery gets to Ireland, she reunites with her long lost cousin Barrett, who is none other than the King of Dublin now. Stuff happens, and you go out on this war to unify Ireland alongside Flanchina, the High King of Ireland, and Kira, the royal poetess. Now, why a poetess you might ask where well, that is because the poets at the time were in fact second only to kings in islands that's because they were the ones telling history effectively recording these kings you were someone troll that's what do you speak french we je parle français aussi mais c'est pour ça c'est un peu drôle quand century but the tune of danu tell a different tale and we have c'est un peu drôle quand il parle en français car c'est Je parle français, je comprends quand qu'est-ce qu'il dit comme ils vont dire euh, adventure car c'est comme ça on dit en français. They won't say adventure, they will say adventure. Ah, uh, history, history. In French it's histoire. So instead of saying history, they would say history. 
a little bit of French and English mix. Et on est sorti de tout ça avec plein d'anecdotes et de choses qu'on a utilisé dans notre jeu. Et on a rajouté une petite dose de créativité pour correspondre à nos contraintes de production. Une chose typique de l'Irlande qu'on a voulu créer, de... c'était les ring forts. I don't know how to do uh, Scottish, bro. En forme de cercle, et il y en a des dizaines de milliers de toutes les tailles à travers l'Irlande. I don't know, man. Please Ils don't speak French ever again. De notre nouvelle yeah, my more French than Kaka, bro. Dans le jeu. Vous pouvez posséder des rings fortes qui vont générer des ressources irlandaises comme les ressources irlandais à l'époque à travers toute le monde. Les ressources vont être échangées avec des nations étrangères à travers Dublin, car après tout, les Vikings étaient de grands commerçants. History, man, history. Venice Battlefield 2042. Tomorrow, we got the gameplay teaser today. So we wanted to show that with our new ability, the Viking salute. We extensively use mock-up on AC, and it always records skills to know how the final result is going to be. For example, we couldn't let the actor headbutt directly be over, so instead they have to be next to each other and be synchronized. Which means we, the animators, we must project ourselves on how the animation is going to look like. And this was oh, made yeah? even harder by COVID. We had to set a very intricate series of cameras, 3D views and audio feeds to be able to direct the actors across the Atlantic and to give feedback to the animators. Anybody into Walhalla? And by the way, Anybody into us, Assassin's Creed? Me or Nate? One if you have two if not. How many, how many, okay, real in question is, see, we wanted to bring you to Ireland. Real question is, how many indie games we're gonna see today? Because Summer Game Fest, we saw 20 billions of them, man. We saw 20 billions of them, so let's hope we have just one or two there. On music within our Selvig, we recommended Julie Fallis, who stars as Kiara, the high poetess. It was Last very one important for us to work Once? with okay. artists who have a okay. connection to the Gaelic culture at the heart of our DLC. While you discover Ireland, you hear the songs and music they created, as well as great pieces composed by Max Rouge, immersing you into the world of our DLC, whether you're fighting or exploring. Exploring. Technical achievements. In this expansion, this is not all about creativity and new content. It's also about tech support. Our engineer team mainly consists of programmers working to help the game's productions as best as possible. For instance, we've developed the Worldbot, which consists of the main character, Eivor, controlled by a computer, uh, when we're dead. the world to see if there are any... We're gonna get GTA 6 when we're dead. ...crashes in Ireland. This helps us in the identify more quickly and easily potential bugs. In addition to that, implementing systems to make the game as great as possible on newest console generation was a crucial part of our Sony job Ponies? Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Sony Ponies? Uh, Bordeaux joined Valhalla's adventure uh, to develop and create EXP1 while the main game was uh, still in development. Uh, anticipation and adaptation was the key to make sure that uh, we are able to develop everything uh, and to test everything in time. We focused on stability and thanks to the players' feedbacks we were able to uh, achieve a content that is... Check out the gameplay uh, teaser. Uh, we, already have, we already have. This expansion has been an amazing adventure for Ubisoft Bordeaux. We delivered the to... most challenging content for the studio so far, knowing the current context. This project also come to light because of the collaboration. Yeah, with Ubisoft is French as a motherfucker out there, dog. I, I know they're like I'm in Montreal, so like Ubisoft is very nearby to my home as well. Uh, not like near nearby, but it's nearby, right? Like it's in the same, uh, like in, it's in Montreal as well. It's there. French is a motherfucker, dog. Like what the fuck, like, dog? Like, okay, okay, okay. Future. People want to know if you got a Discord server. I, I do have Discord, but not the server. First person who collapsed during the Euros match. Yeah, dude. I don't watch it. I don't watch football, but yeah, I, I'm seeing everybody talk about it. That's sad, dude. That is. That is sad. Uh, did he survive or or no? It came to us. A bitch. He did survive. That's good, man. That's good. An old truth to guide you know our play. Yeah, fire. Yeah, fire lord. We're gonna watch that tonight, man. <laughs> Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Okay, play for what? Is that a mobile game? Oh, the ending music kind of reminded me of God of War. Far Cry 6 at Ubisoft Original. That's yeah, man. I actually got reminded of God of War there too. Got the wealth. Gib Deji wins. Dude, I'm with the homie Gib. I'm with the homie Deji. 
Hundred percent. Oh shit. True okay. Yarns have long memories. We remember how Far so Cry. Yeah, Far Cry is looking good. Treated us when we needed them most. Are you concerned about the terroristas who call themselves No Splinter Cell? What did I miss? Uh, nothing much yet. Yeah, E3 is so far is a smoother, man. So far is a smoother. Oh, what a blow! That you're subscribing, brother! You're an orphan. It's the same trailer? I, I personally have not seen it. Remember, Danny. Castillo has kept you an orphan. Hopefully we get new you. gameplay. Hold on, let me so check why are this you then. Here? I watched Castillo order a whole boat of our people shot to death. And I want to know who's going to help me take him down. Okay. Castillo's got, what, 300,000 troops? I count six burnt out areas, and you with the Alright, let me check. Okay, you can stop flying. So sure. So sure. Thank you for having drag, okay, bro. What up, dude? Like him, but you're no killer. You know I'm not a Gedea, right? Everything I'm not. Probably looking good, yeah. What do you guys think about graphics? That usually work. 50 50. What do you guys think about graphics? Those eyes, Danny. I know exactly who you are. The game is looking I pretty good, though. You. Thank you for the like missing. Thank you for subscribing, Misty. James, love you. Appreciate you. Jones, thank you for subscribing, Jones. With G money. Graphics 8 out of 10. PS3, Sony Pony. Uh, PS2 graphics. Wait, what? You crazy? To me, they're fine, but... Surely not mind-blowing or anything, right? But but they're good. They're good. Far Cry looking good. Hi there. I'm Navid Khavari, narrative director of Far Cry Narrative. And I'm so excited to represent our team and finally show you our game in action. With Far Cry 6, we're going to throw you into our most ambitious open yeah, world yet. exactly, Buzzin. Yara, an island deep in the heart of the Caribbean. Filled with rich, tropical ecosystems alongside decaying urban landscapes, Yara is an island of contrasts. Isolated and frozen in time, for over 50 years after a violent revolution cut it off from the rest of the world, it now finds itself on the verge of collapse. Last yeah, year, we introduced good. you to Yara's Presidente, Anton Castillo, with an amazing performance by Giancarlo Esposito. A Castillo must be a lion for Yara. Yara. He's full of lambs. The reception we've had to Anton and Diego has been incredible, and we're just getting started. Anton is a man hell-bent on returning Yara to his idea of its former glory. And while his motivations are far more complex than they seem, the cost of his vision will be paid in blood. If a dog refuses to break, yeah, the villain is pretty then good, we man. Must put them down. To achieve his dream for Yara and his son Diego, Anton has clamped down on freedoms, instituted brutal social reforms, and cast yeah, anyone who speaks out against him into forced labor. Today's his day oppression one of, of the Yaran people has have pushed the, the island to the brink of revolution. Uh, today's day one of E3. We're getting Ubisoft. We got the Battlefield gameplay teaser. Today is just day one. Jewel of the Caribbean is now a powder keg. And you are the match. Your name is Danny Rojas, and you'll experience the revolution through Danny's eyes right from the beginning. Born and raised in Yara's capital city, you're a young military dropout who wants nothing to do with Anton or the revolution. Yo, you're, about, you're kidding you just me, want baby. to get the hell out of It's not PS1 graphics, right? But once you're face to face with you Anton's PS3 brutality, PS4. you realize that the only chance to live free is to lead an army of guerrillas into a new revolution, with the very soul of the island at stake. And I need you here with us, man. Oh shit! Hmm? 
At the start of your yo, journey, yo, 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 my name is Usman as well. Yo, she, she said my name, boys. Look, yo, I'm simping. I'm simping. I'm simping. Thank you for subscribing, Bobby. Hit the bell. Every yo, I'm simping. I'm simping. The game has been developed with the goal to make you feel like a guerrilla fighter, battling an asymmetric war against Anton and his army. The guerrilla fantasy is all about making one guerrilla feel like a thousand. Embracing this was at the core of how we crafted our gameplay, our world, and the characters you'll meet along the way. In Yara, you'll find other guerrillas, black market dealers, and everyday Yarans who each have their own reasons for joining the cause, including our friendly guerrilla Juan Cortez, a master of invention, an architect of revolution. He's our guerrilla teacher. Thank you for subscribing, Kristen. And class starts now. Class starts now. The game is looking pretty good, man. Uh, the, especially the story. Yeah, oh, you listen. Rule 16. A guerrero's revolution never ends. Always another war, another cantina, another ugly bartender. Juan Cortez? What do you think gave it away, Wapo? This is a fucking waste of time. Can you whistle? What? Party Cry South America? Ah, you can whistle. Cap, yeah. Are we going to see something about Battlefield here? Uh, we we actually got the uh, the teaser trailer started. Uh, for the gameplay. One. We got this. Let me show you. Puerto el perro, se acabó la rabia. We lead our operations in secret this. camps across the country. Here, guerrillas live. We got this. It looks pretty good, man. This looking pretty good. Small pack. We go in. This this looking massive. Like I love this man. This is looking pretty good. We'll add some piss and fire to our That's what we got. You got that right. Camp chef, black market dealers. These safe havens got everything a guerrilla needs. Even do-it-yourself vehicles. You're gonna love it, Danny. Nah, there's no DMC. Rule Don't worry. Two. Don't worry. Yo, thank you for having me, brother. I want it. I'm doing thank you for having me, brother. Too much neon. I gotta get a new system for Battlefield. Honestly, man, uh, try to get PS5 or Xbox Series X or uh, a good graphics card. Nah, it's fine, guys. Like, guys, like I will make like what, like two pennies off of live stream. The the way uh, I'll make money is if somebody tips, right? Like on streams, you don't you don't make m uh, too uh, money with the you make a little bit, but you don't make like like millions and millions of dollars by live streaming on YouTube or anything. Yeah, you just you make money when somebody tips. That's what it is. So don't worry, man. I appreciate you guys though. Go ahead and hide your weapons. Let me actually lower this down. PS5 is better. Call of Duty 2021 is gonna look like a PS2 graphic. Yeah, most likely. Thank you for subscribing, Tommy. Devno, appreciate subscribing. Christmas trees. By PS5. Yeah. Okay. Let's not start it. Let's not start it. I know people will start a war. Thank you all for 600 likes. Okay. Go through. Rule number three. Fucked up situations call for fucked up solutions. Hey, he's not here. You expect the reinforcements? I got news for you. You're an army of one against an army yeah, of Yeah, they have the PPS fish as well. When shit gets real, we make use of whatever we that have. Yo, that PPSH looks that like Call of Duty WW2, man. That means absolutely everything from sardine cans. We're probably gonna have the Babushka in Call of Duty 2021 this year. Two old motorcycle engines have been built into equipment. PC over Xbox over That's PlayStation. Dude, PC is the best weapons. though. Fucking talking. Guys, stop talking trash packs. in the chat about PS5. Both are good. Both are both are good. Will make you feel and fight with the power of a goddamn guerrilla army. You and I both know. You want this? For a guerrilla, for a guerrilla, the shit my pants rush of an ambush. The face of the good, okay. victory. Both are good. You freed your people from tyrants. It's. 
it's, it's fun. Alright, you know what? You know what? Uh, let it all out, boys. Uh, you all, are you on that gay station or are you on the gay box? Let me know in chat. Um, I'll go with the, the gay station, okay? Yeah, you, I, I cannot stop anybody. Like, people will so fight, so hey, who cares? Like, just go all out. I don't care, man. Just, just go all out, man. Like, just, just go all out, man. I don't care. Because I, I cannot stop none of you all, man. Y'all motherfuckers crazy, bro. Y'all... Okay, let's cancel everybody. Let's cancel everybody in chat. See you next time. Soldier Boy at 34k is superior. Far Cry 6 is a game about revolution, homebrew weapons, pet alligators, hobbled together tentacles, and super moves? Yeah, super Far moves. Cry 6 is very much a Far Cry game, and it seems to be leaning even more heavily into the series' yeah, what dangerous up, How you doing, brother? cheek mechanics. In this video, we're going to go over everything we've learned so far from Ubisoft about this Ubi, game. Ubi, Ubi, Ubisoft. 2021 is right around the corner, and GameSpot will have a Yo, ton to show during the dish, our Play for All event. So make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. So you don't miss Smash it. Smash like, subscribe. Let's get to it. Everybody, subscribe. One thing you at home in our preview bell. of Far Cry 6 was that the loadout of your character will matter, and picking the right tools is important. Weapons are highly customizable, and gear comes with specialized perks. Loadouts can accommodate a number of playstyles, meaning that you slushy. can now Let's holster your weapon and try not to draw attention. You can sneak around, you can pay bribes to different enemies, hijack trucks, and commit sabotage. You can also just play it like a standard shooter. There are 49 weapons with plenty of attachments, and while we didn't see any kind of stat Space Dude, this is sad. This is really sad. 49 weapons? I don't even think we had 49 weapons in Black Ops. Am I, am I correct or am I wrong? We didn't even have 49 weapons in Call of Duty. A game about guns and shit doesn't even have that many. Yo, thank you for the five, brother. Through him or in the world, you can get different thank weapons the across five, bro. the regular, Love you, brother. and Supremos category. Regular weapons seem to be leftover guns from last century's Cold War, like the SKS, FAL, and M16. But also, there's everyday items like baseball bats. Throwing knives make their return as a stealth go-to weapon. Next are Resolver weapons which are hand-built improvised items. Uh, this is a pre-show. This is a pre-show at the actual stream in 28 minutes. I hope they don't do like a pre-show pre-show again. Like a minigun built from motorcycle parts and a vinyl record launcher that plays Macarena. You've seen this Correct? stuff in Far Cry before, but this game is taking that... Dude, that's sad. That is sad that Call of Duty doesn't have... Okay, let me... Uh, I see you guys. Okay, let me see E3. Now, we're watching E3. Above Rizzle air weapons, we have the Supremos. That means Far Cry now has super moves. All right, I got you. Go three, three. Got you, got you. All right, I'm going to pause this, boy. Yeah, the, 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 E3 is live as well. Yep. Let me get back here. Cancel everyone. Let's cancel everyone. Like, y'all motherfuckers crazy, bro. We got PlayStation slushy equal loser. Yo. Stop. Yeah, I'm gonna protect. Yo, watch out, brother. I'm gonna protect Slushy with my laugh, man. I'm gonna protect Slushy with my laugh, man. You don't say anything mean to my homie. But they don't have gameplay, though. Like, do they have gameplay? Okay, so they, they did the countdown here. Now they're live. Oh, they're live. They're live. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. What's up, everybody? Welcome oh, they're live. to E3 Live from an undisclosed location in Los Angeles, California. E3 is back after a one-year hiatus. Don't say Greg Miller. One Don't say boys. Host this week, and I, of course, am joined by one of my other hosts, Jackie Jing. Hello, Jackie. Hi. Oh, my God, this is happening. Can you believe we're here? It's like, it's, yeah, we don't, Give me a hug, you. No, exactly. Get out of here, masks. No one needs you anymore. Except for when I leave the set. When we leave the yeah. stage, we have to wear the Thank you for the two, man. I love the Batman mask. Thank you for the well, we all find a new fashion. Undisclosed location. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, of course, as I explained earlier, E3 is back, but things are a little different than usual. There, of course, is no in-person convention this year. Our presentations will be virtual. But trust me, all of the news and excitement is very real. So while we may be Stop, here Stop, Sam reacting, all of you get the opportunity to see every announcement from the comfort of your own home. Yeah, that is right, Greg. We are coming to you from here in L.A. and sending the show out uh, all over the bruh. world from coast to coast. They say undisclosed location and they reveal LA, bruh. China and more. We're spinning Chinese. Over a dozen different countries, Chinese, motherfucker. 
Brazil? Wi-Fi connection is working. Middle again. East. Maybe a space station or two orbiting Earth. All this with the helping hand of some of the most trusted media companies Cyberland? around the globe. Poland is Cyberland. Oh my gosh, it's the best, right? And as it continues yeah. to go, that was one of the things that I think was so exciting to me when they approached me on hosting, right? Yeah. Russia. The idea that this truly is a global event. They want to get everybody involved. Japanese really motherfucker. Localizations, different people, different outlets covering it, and really making it, you know, E3 for all. This giant E3 that we can all celebrate together, even though we're still apart. Yeah, These are my so cap meters. The accessibility, and I just feel like everyone is so hyped. Brian Altano yeah, dropping yeah, us a tweet course, at like 5.30 a.m. Bro, let me tell you, man. We're going to get 20 billion uh, mobile games. How many mobile games do you guys think we're going to get? And mobile games are not bad, okay? It's just that every game is mobile game. That's the problem. Every game is an indie game. How many indie games do you think we're going to get? Um, yeah, it was just so I say 20. this morning, waking up to all the tweets and all of the excitement. You know, 2020 kept us apart from our friends and family. But 2021 is bringing us all back together again. We have a whole host of media friends from around the gaming community to react with over the next few days. And that brings me to our third host, Alex Golden Boy Mendez, who is with our media partners. Hi, everybody. Hi, hi. Hey, hey. Hello, hey. everybody, and Claps. welcome. We are here Claps. in our uh, Tetris Collective set. It's actually quite nice here. We're excited uh, to be a part of E3 this year, and I'm joined by some of our friends. Yeah, we're going to get mobile partners. games we for sure. The one and only Damon Hatfield from IGN. Coop. Good to see you here. We also have my good friend and co-worker. Right here, Avali May, G4 TV. Thank you for subscribing, brother. Also Thank you for subscribing, Casey, Tate. The Love you, brother. Himself. From the Nerdist. That's so nice of you. I uh, do. Big fan. Always have been. And the person who's become my new best friend over the last few hours. You got Michael Hyam from GameSpot. Michael, what's up, man? You're. Thanks for having me here. <laughs> I appreciate uh, that. I, I, I appreciate that. 100%. E3 uh, of course, 2021, so ladies much, and gentlemen. Uh, for joining us here today. And, and Don't you know, simp. We're going to be talking about all the latest and greatest that's going to be coming out of E3. But before we do that, I want to get your guys' quick reactions. Uh, you know, Dan, we'll start with you. What are you looking forward to here at E3? There's so much to get excited about. GTS 6. I'm really stoked for for the PC gaming show because there's a lot of great stuff that comes out of that every year. A lot of I want to see GTA 6, boys. Dying Light 2. I can finally live my dream of perishing in a parkour accident. Thanks for subscribing, Muhammad. How you doing, brother? Parkour accident from the safety of my own home. <laughs> it's going to be so much fun. We've seen a lot from that game. There's a lot of surprises to come. Uh, I'm yeah, from Pakistan, my guy. All of us would rather what about not you? Perish from a parkour accident. Uh, Damon, what about for you? Yo, buddy? shit! You yeah, guys are subscribing like crazy, y'all. Thank you all, man. Hit the bell, boys. The Far Cry 6 is very exciting to me. I'm also a rabid fan of turn based strategy game so if ubisoft had something along those lines wow. to show us i would say yahoo oh look at that I'll why are your glasses okay. so far right, bro i actually bought it off amazon like everything G for the, the for the videos i get to join everyone here at e3 so i've got like the nervous sweats as well as the excitement sweats That's right the best sweats but what i'm looking forward to is hearing some news from capcom because i know a lot of people have their fingers crossed for potentially another yeah my rock then experience and Maybe. that's I would die for that, GB. Thank you, Zachary. Yeah, Love for you, for brother. Lady. We could talk about that later on in yeah, the show. Okay. We'll get into that later. Okay, we got we got a very long, long, long uh, next few days. <laughs> Michael, what about you, bud? I'm gonna be staying on brand, and I'm gonna say Square Enix, but not because of Marvel or any of the. I'll go with the uh, Battlefield Xbox. Spall. That is the game that was revealed in E3 2018, and it went radio silent. But Platinum Games, I know that they got something up their sleeve, and I know that. You, there. You're a big fan. Obviously, you're a big fan of Platinum Games as well. But Near Automata is one of the best games of all time, and I want Let to me put down down here. Up their sleeve this time around. Bold Thank you, C, for subscribing. From Michael, that's what you're going to be hearing all weekend, folks. Bold statements, hot takes. Uh, Hamza, the event is fun. live, but so thank everyone uh, for joining. E3 us. We'll just went live, but in just we're going to have but Ubisoft first, in a bit. We actually have a special announcement to share with all of our fans, and to help with the news, here's a very special guest. Special guest? Okay. Is it John Cena? Is it John Cena? The best uh, gaming media equal IGN uh, 120 over 10. Yo, skill up, bro. Hey, I'm watching you from I'm Kenya. Mayor, Such a big fan. All the video Love you, Galaku. How you doing, brother? Developers and publishers out there today. Oh, shit. They got a... E3. They got Los a mayor Angeles of Los Angeles? Angeles? Bro, what the fuck? And not just because we've hosted this conference over 20 times. We love E3 because this town Cap. is a gaming town. Capri Cap, Capri Cap. gaming companies and a multitude of independent studios. LA Capri Cap. is home to a growing concentration of game developers and publishers, esports. Yeah, I'm from Lahore as well, brother. Talent what about you? Agencies and investors, cutting edge technology and Dude. innovation. And that's just the start. Of what Personally, I'm in Canada, though, so I don't know, like, politics. I don't care about politics, but shit, dude. 
Like, first we had, like, the Hollywood celebrities. Now they're gonna politify this, uh... It, it's gonna get too political. Oh, shit, now people gonna mean. People gonna get mean. How you feel about that? One, if you like this. Uh, two, if you don't like this. Three, if you don't care. I'm in the... I, I don't care this. Yeah, I, I don't care about it. E3 in person. You got the waifu? <laughs> Nothing could possibly go wrong. I was like going super saiyan. Yeah, know. exactly, like, right? Well, it's, just, it's all happening, right? All, right, all the yeah, respect. Yeah, thank you for the, the, the subscribing. Like, we're able to be here, you and I together, but Alex, I mean, then to have GameSpot, Nerdist, thank IG, for and G4 brother. all under one roof, right? Like, that was a, a dream last year. Our when we don't were same. houses watching streams. Totally. Actually, during rehearsal, you and I were like, can yeah, we? Yeah, like, it's the thing about it. Yeah, you know. There's what I mean? no yeah, glass exactly. between what do you us do? anymore. Yeah, what do you but do? yeah. But we're here. It's happening. We're all in person, and we're excited to be in person with you next year, ladies and gentlemen. What an amazing start to this year's E3. There are so many yeah, more announcements. Yeah, amazing start, boys. Amazing start. This year's expo. So stick with us, everyone. There's much more when we return. Amazing start, everybody. All uh, right, what does E3 mean to you? Mobile games and indie games. We're not just nerds. We have people. Thank you for subscribing, like William Levisk. Love you, brother. Us. It just solidified gaming as the monolith that's not going anywhere anytime soon. E3 is hype. If you're not at E3, Cap. you're not doing it right. It's just excitement. The size of it all. The connection of people from different walks of life. All right, get your cap meters out there. Y'all think this is cap or facts? Capity cap or facts, no printer? Let me know how you feel. <laughs> We, oh shit, they brought the T-Paint? Uh, I don't know who T-Paint is, but T-Paint, man, awesome. T-Paint. It's a rapper, right? I heard I, I heard the name, but I don't know. Video games are the best, and you become friends. It's happened to me multiple times at Facts? E3. Facts? Cap? Positive people Capri Cap or Facts? And the people that make video games shower us in games. It was money, money. To. It is magical every year, honestly. It's, it's a celebration, I think, of how far we've come as, as people who just love games. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, Cap Pro Max or Capri Cap? Cap Hi, Pro Max or Capri Cap? Welcome to E3 2021. Oh shit. I'm Stan yo, the yo, last year, yo, ESA leaked literally everybody uh, addresses and shit. Don't trust ESA. The voice and advocate. For the US yo, the homie Sean, industry. yo, welcome on We've in, man. Thank you for becoming E3 a member, brother. Since it started What's good, fam? <laughs> Thank you, bro. Every E3 Pro Max. Has its own story, and this one is Thank you, brother. Given the times in which we live, while we could love the tunes, man. Year, Thank you, brother. Welcome to the VIP lounges, bro. By the role games have played in our everyday lives during the pandemic that prevented us from being with so many family, friends, and colleagues. Video games connected us entertained us and brought us together keep it Lamal. i'm not just saying this because i love video games or because i work in the industry as a player and as a parent i experience this firsthand and i hear similar stories every day from people from all walks of life games kept us sane and kept us connected that's what makes coming together this year for E3 so special. Dude, we're having a sad speech and everybody's like, oh, show the gameplay, man, show the gameplay. Let the homie talk, guys. Let, let the homie, I get it, I get it. You wanna, you wanna fire dope me? Let, let the homie talk, let the homie talk. Media partners joining this year's festivities to share their plans about the future of games. We'll also- it's, it's, well, We're gonna see games, we're gonna see. We're gonna see mobile games, guys, mobile games. About games and Indie about games. society. And throughout this year's event, We'll be sure to reflect the broad community as well as the positive impact games have had on society. Nah, dude. Now, I would be remiss if in a year of so much loss, I didn't acknowledge the passing positive, you say? of an industry giant earlier this year. Robert Altman. Positive, you say? Zenimax, acquired the, our gamers. This is our gamers. And went on to build brands and franchises that are among the most popular. Under his leadership, this is our gamers. his team created games that continue to delight fans around the world. I got to know Robert in his role as chair of ESA's board of directors. What I learned was that he Yo, absolutely shit. loved Yo, I just, uh, thank you all for 750 games. likes. He I didn't see this coming. Love you all, man. Thank you, brothers. Industry, including at E3. And he adored his ah, 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 It's great to know that his Yeah, I know Ubisoft is live as well. E3's live. live I got you, man. Don't worry. Now, got you, got the you. next few days, we'll celebrate games the people who create them and those uh one in the chat if you have the technology to skip this if you do share this with us man how many bitcoins you need you need 10 bitcoins you need 20 bitcoins let us know we ain't gonna give you a none of it but let us know let us know man. now sit back relax and enjoy the next few days of pure fun and Wish boy thank you for subscribing brother
All right, sit back. Okay, okay. 24 entertainment. Finally, we're gonna get some indie games and mobile game, please. Let's go, baby. 20 bits. One, all the Bitcoin. I barely woke up. What's happening? Yeah, Thank dude, so I, stand for that. I I woke up recently as well. At how this week is going to play out, starting with a look at tomorrow's huge slate of devs and publishers. We just saw an exclusive clip, by the way, from Naraka Blade. Tomorrow Park, it's which Xbox. We'll see more Xbox. Tomorrow with 24 Entertainment, and then we get the Xbox and Bethesda Games Showcase, followed by Square Enix. Yeah, I gotta go take a piss again, man. Games back for blood I have a small bladder. With some heat of their own. Then it's the PC gaming show and future games to close us out. Then let's look ahead to Monday. Don't miss things. Don't miss things as Verizon unveils their initiative. Bro, give us the, the give us today's space, schedule too, man. Television. Take two will address diversity and inclusion in the gaming space. Then it's Mythical Games to announce what's coming soon from their team. If you like indie games, we put the independent developers in the spotlight too. Freedom Games will follow, and then you won't want to miss what he, he said. Indie game, age. boys. Radio he said indie games. He said indie games. games. And we wrap things up on Tuesday as Nintendo. Where, where the export side right now? He said indie games. He said indie games. I don't hate the indie games. Okay, mind you, I don't hate the indie games. Um, I, I, there needs to be indie games. There needs to be mobile games as well. But there gotta be other games too. There gotta be. There gotta. There gotta, there gotta, there gotta be console games too. What about console games? What about console games? Am I the only one asking for console games? I'm not the only one, right? I'm not the only one. By the way, we have a new area. We, how many more areas are there? You're gonna have to watch and find out for more. I'll just, okay. tell, you, I'll just tell you right now, this is it. There's three. There's three. Derek, Derek, Derek dude, this is our reaction so stream, man. This is our reaction stream, Derek. It's all, man. All right. With so right, many right, heavy right, hitters right. and announcements to come, <laughs> we want to pose the questions to our. But when they're here, talking, but, also to you. but when they're talking, something important, I'll, I, I won't talk over. You're voting in our polls throughout the day. It doesn't matter if you're watching on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, or your YouTube pages. Simply. Type in Thanks for subscribing, sir. And, and all the votes get tallied up live, and they're shown on screen. So I will pose the first question, Golden Boy. What developer are we most excited for? I'll say Xbox. As well, put it all into your little chat. I'll say Xbox. Yeah, uh, you know Which what? one are you picking, boys? Keep it real. All right. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm a Halo fanatic. Right, here we go. So I'm sorry. I got go. The the reason I'm going with Xbox is because Battlefield. Yeah. I'm not into Halo, but. Uh, Battlefield and on top like PlayStation is not doing their stream. I'm a Sony pony like I play on the Sony ponies But uh, I uh, I don't care about I, I like we don't fight over console wars here dog like but I love the console war memes All right, I love the console war memes. I I in fact welcome that but not the toxic ones, right? But I'll go with Xbox because they got to save the industry man. You, Greg, stop attacking me I just want you to, I need you to get on my level. All right. I'm, I am excited Sega? for it, Xbox though. Xbox, you know, obviously we're gonna hopefully see more out of it uh, We are gonna we see better. more out of it uh, and I'm sure it's gonna be awesome Greg Greg's been going nuts about about the Avengers. I'm from Russia Greatest that. country. You're like me with Halo. I see you. Thank I you see you in much. chat right, So let's go back to Halo because let me see the thing. Yeah no, nah, not Halo Galaxy would like it. I cannot I cannot afford to let uh, Galaxy yeah, get hit in the G spot over Halo. Nah, man. If they show Halo, I'm gonna turn it off. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, of course. Gotta let the homie Galaxy that, right, see it. The fact that Ubisoft is imminent. That is today. Gearbox True. is today. I feel like E3 is all about unwrapping that. Giga Chad, what's up? I'm doing good. What about you? Do that. You know what I mean? You come down beneath the tree. You have all the small ones. You got the one big one in the back there. When do you go? Thanks for subscribing. Yeah, that's right. Yo, why Christmas are you guys? Okay, why are you guys subscribing this much, man? Thank you all, man. Love you all. Bethesda Games Showcase. Hit the bell, guys. I Hit already the bell. mentioned uh, Halo. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm always looking forward to that. Uh, I'm always looking forward to whatever comes out of, uh, you know, the Forza camp of course. as well, if we get something cool there. But, you know, what makes this one so Starfield, unique, maybe Greg, Elder Scrolls? This time around, it, you know, two of the two of my favorite press conferences have joined together yeah. the Xbox Bethesda Game Showcase. Which okay, my volume is not. Okay, let me hear myself then. I'll, I'll. The Xbox Bethesda Game Showcase. Which okay, my volume is not. Okay, let me. All right. Yeah, Time you're right. Now, Phil Spencer, Todd Howard, come out, embrace. Let, let me know if my volume balance. One if my actually, volume is good like, and their volume. Like to come out let me know. In, like jetpacks. I appreciate you know? the feedback. Sure. Descending on perfect the stage. world. Yeah, yeah. Phil, I know you're watching. So just you descend into the stage with Todd, and then you guys announce Starfield then and there. Uh, I think everyone is will it good or bad? Rather moist. Do, and it'll do, be fantastic. do you ever think about it? Though? Look at this. Is good or bad? I'm gonna talk around and listen to myself. Right now, listen to myself again. Do you ever think about it? The look at this is good or bad. I'm gonna this talk around and listen to myself. Okay, much better, much better. Fighting 
for Starfield's honor on Reddit somewhere. Oh, 100%. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you, brother. I'm excited for it, man. You know, anything from Bethesda, though, truthfully, it, it, it's a treat. Uh, a great, great studio, uh, an incredible history, as we heard Stan talking about earlier. Uh, thank you for subscribing, really, Lucas. There's, just, uh, there's a lot of hype. There's a lot we of We just got the, the teaser. I think it's going to be gameplay teaser of that, of that Battlefield Kristen. So Phil and Todd start I mean, making out. About taking yeah, the dude. Xbox fan base, which is Bro, they so talk too much. So yeah, guys, like it is what it is, And making them one family, like yeah, it's good now. Got you. From that. Got you, puppy. All I want outside of all that is their volume is just way too low. Twelve minutes. Give me a release date for twelve minutes. Yeah. All right? Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, uh, Fair they're enough. gonna talk Jackie, for 12 minutes. Jackie, we're pretty hyped for Microsoft on Sunday. Why Guys, are you in the uh, squad? Let us know what you. I'm, I'm gonna let them talk. I gotta go take a piss. I have a small bladder once again. I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, if we have 10 minutes, so I'll do it before so not after. Two, Yo, John, becoming a member. Wait, what, dude? Yeah, thank you for becoming a member, man. I almost lost it. But but you guys can simp in chat while I'm gone. Simp in the chat. We got a huge gameplay out here, so check the gameplay out. 60 FPS, boys. 60 FPS. I'll be right back. We're stealing some. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm a couple. Okay, we're gonna do that for sure. But okay, my E3 crew. So excited to be with all of you, by the way. But um, Greg and Golden Boy talked about Xbox and um, <laughs> Starfield, all that jazz a bit. But um. I want to hear what y'all are hyped about. So let's just go down the docket here. Um, we're going to start with Square Enix, okay? They recently announced that they'll be dropping a world premiere from IDOS Montreal, an update on Babylon's Fall. I see Michael nodding a lot here. Details on the Black <laughs> Panther expansion and a first look at Life is Strange Remastered. Probably see some true colors too. My question is, any ideas on the IDOS Montreal title? Deus? X? Ideas, yes. I okay, I, Deus Ex? Probably not Deus Ex. Although, How dare you? Deus I X. wanted to bring out my little sunglasses that you click and go whoop, but okay, I guess not. <laughs> I but continue, yeah. Uh, well, there's you know there's rumors, nothing is confirmed yet, um, but uh, I think there are some guardians that are keeping that very secret until until the big reveal mm. later on. Uh, I, I'm going to steal this from uh, someone said this during rehearsals, though. But now <laughs> might now might be a good time where you want might want to have I'm a back, I'm back. Style I'm back. I'm back. First off, dude, thanks for becoming yes, a member, I'm John. Like appreciate you. Love you, my guy. Big man, big legend. In, in Love your brother. Life. Thank you all the for 840 likes. 2000, like it's old now, but man, I still got so many memories. And like Human Revolution and Mankind Divided were like almost. We need the we need the horny we we need the horny cop right now. People simping. I know immersive sims like might not sell well, whatever, but those are my styles of games. And yo, bring back Deus Ex, please. I know, please. We'll see. All right, this one for everybody in chat right now. This one for everybody in chat. Not sure if it's copyrighted or not. Y'all need anti horny 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 tabs right now. Smash like button for the anti horny tabs. I miss GTA 6. Like y'all be simping big. Thank you for subscribing, Joey. No, no, I'm, I'm pretty yeah. sure Kingdom Hearts, a game where Donald actually heals you. Like, I'd be down for that. <laughs> Let, let's not talk about something that's physically impossible. Dan, <laughs> any ideas for you? I think, I, I'm very curious, as much as I would love to commit minor crimes to make Deus Ex a reality, I, I'm, I, I'm used to being... Uh, I'm used to waiting. Yeah, what up, for Abdul? How are you doing, brother? Don't mind me. So I'm sure scrolling for something uh, totally surprising. Um, but yeah, I, I just, I don't know. I, I'm just stoked for more uh, Life is Strange as well. So. Oh, Anti Sim Donut. Hey! Yo, Izzy, thank you for the 10 paper, bro. Love you, man. Yeah, they're gonna talk for seven minutes, so that's fine. We can chat for a while. One in the chat. One in the chat if, to accept the hor anti horny tabs right now. One to accept them right now. Hits me in the feels so much. But, Thank you for the 10, man. All right, David, Love you, Izzy. Big man, big legend. Because Greg Miller was telling me he used to kick your butt. Or actually, you guys would have been a really good team in Left 4 Dead. Yeah, that's yeah. Not uh, tr uh, Triple K1. No, you guys, you can not today. The versus mode. We got the yeah. teaser gameplay. Okay. Oh, okay. So it was co op. All right. Because well, I was assuming. Your that's true. That's true. Okay. I was assuming that, you know, you were ready for Back for Blood and well, you were going to take Greg down. But okay, I guess y'all were doing co op, so no, my bad. No, no. We, we're, we're cooperative gamers. I'm oh. super excited for Back for Blood. Yeah. Gamers. God, it feels like a lifetime ago that we were playing yeah. Left 4 Dead with a bunch yeah, of Yeah, Back for Blood, so, yeah, dude. It's nice to have. Basically, Left 4 Dead 3. Come Yo, he hide though. He trying to hit. Okay. He trying to hit. I mean, zombies. Basically, like, he trying to hit. He trying to hit. Zombies. Uh, girl, I was gonna get to you and lady. Let me get my okay, cap let's meters on. Oh, are we going? Cap. Cap. Let's, let's are do we it. Going? Okay. Um, as a tall lady, I'm obviously a big fan of the vampire tall lady. Um, so obviously, Resident Evil 
25th anniversary. I'm assuming some big drops here. Um, just no more creepy baby. Is everybody what with Chris? on that? Oh, for sure. Thank you. I never want to see that again capcom thank you but, but okay yeah but you know hyped. what we what? need to see we more lady we had like resident <laughs> evil 7 with the whole vr experience where you know it was basically poop your pants simulator because everything was coming at you and you were terrified <laughs> absolutely terrified yes but dear god what i would give if we got resident evil 8 VR edition because then oh. not only will I run straight into Lady D begging her to slash me Cap. with those nails, I am going to be playing. I'm like, cool, she's coming towards me. That's Cap. I'm heading, I'm heading straight wow. for the floor. Wow. I'm heading straight for the floor. Oh, I'm looking girl. at Lady D and going, step on me. And that's all. What I am need I watching? Gameplay. Jackie, that's all I need. First no. off, I would say, be down bad, guys. Well, so I feel you on that one. Hey. I think we are all. Oh, like he feels her on that one. Okay, yeah. okay, real, okay. Like Resident Evil 7, the VR component was such a big deal. If you actually played through that whole game in VR, it was wild. It was like one of the best VR experiences, legitimately. And Resident Evil Village is a great game already. So if you can put that in VR, yo, that would be wild, especially if you want to bring it to PC VR as well and maybe line it up for the PS VR 2 or whatever, whenever that's going to come. Have that as like a big hitter. That would be a big deal. And also, hey, shout out to all my Susio boys out there if you want to go. Yeah, shout, shout out to the homies for adding me the situation. As well, he, 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 yeah, he's like Giga Chat. Giga Chat, Giga Chat. You will explode. <laughs> You get stepped upon. It's just, it's literally science. Relax. I'm willing to take that chance. All right. Godspeed. <laughs> yeah, he, he's <laughs> melting right now. He's melting right now. I hope Malik so. and I were chatting oh yesterday. God. and He's like, you got I, I can tell that. he's melting. Oh he's melting. God. I would uh, mortgage uh, everything I have for Morony Musha. So you're telling me we're going to see Dino Crisis? I, why must you do this to me? I, mean, I feel like I'm being relentlessly taunted here with all these titles. I hope they come. I hope they happen. If they do, it'll be a great day, but I'm sure they have some awesome... No, not necessarily. I'm not cringing. It's, it's, uh, Evil 8 VR, it's like that. You know, group a, group talks are always like that. Game, maybe a sequel to that. Not always, knows, but you know what I mean. It's going to be an exciting uh, presentation. Okay, and then we got to talk about Gearbox, everybody. Tiny, tiny, tiny Tina's Wonderlands. I can't even talk because I'm so excited. That, that's how that's how uh, women's are like high energy, especially women. That's how they are, it, it, and they know they are actually being live, and a ton of people are watching. So they gotta be on high energy, right? They have to be. So that's that's normal. That's normal. I know, like a lot of you guys don't have girlfriends around. So I I, 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 I feel you guys. I feel you. One in the chat, smash a like button if you don't have a girlfriend around. Uh, before I let you know, I also don't have it. Okay. So do you feel good now? Let me know. Uh, and uh, but, but that's a personal choice. I don't want to have it now. Too busy. Too busy. Cannot chase those bitches out there. You know what I mean? Really quickly, like, what are you most excited for, Damon? Perfect Dark. I little, knew that. We got a little tease Why last year. I'm a huge ask? fan of Perfect Dark. I can't believe it's back. Show me what this game. Yeah, special like what any single. I already said in the beginning, Babylon's Fall. Mmm. Show me what that is. Can you do that one more time? Mm. Oh my goodness, I can't believe you did that. Obviously. <laughs> Jackie, get me on the floor. That's all I need. That and Heisenberg throwing like little metal nuts and bolts at me. Just. <laughs> Bruh. Heisenberg, oh my goodness. I thought we were on the Lady D team, but okay, Dan. Yeah, she just saw GTA 6 gameplay right there. She just saw GTA 6 gameplay right there. All right, well, some great answers there, but we are going to wrap things up here for a moment, but that doesn't mean the party is stopping. We are just getting started live from E3. Next up, we are talking Ubisoft. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. That's Cap Pro Master. Hey, what do you mean, right back? Uh, just want to stop by and say thank you guys for watching the show. Thank you guys for uh, enjoying E3. I can't wait till we get to be back in each other's faces and <laughs> walk around. Okay, that's kind of gay though. That's kind of gay. Uh, convention halls and, and stuff like that. And I, 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 I can't wait to see you guys. Trust me. Somebody get me out of the house, please. <laughs> Anybody. Don't even care who it is. Just come get me. Until then, keep singing candy. Keep sending candy. We need auto. Where's the auto tune? It's helping a lot. Thank you. Yeah, Enjoy we need auto tune. We need auto tune right there, my guy. Not T pin. T pin. Okay. Okay. Jackie just tried to turn Damon Hatfield against Greg Miller. All right, that's wow. impossible. All right, Almost. everyone knows we are left for dead. Dynamo. Yeah, thank you, you for the five paper wild goose. Uh, you're on time. You didn't. You missed the auto tunes. You missed the auto tunes. That's basically what. Thank you for the five. What brother. are you most excited to see at UV? You know, well, we did it's a talk uh, show. get some news the other day about this whole Splinter Cell animated we series did? that's yeah, dropping yeah, yeah. out. You know, if I'm a bad man, I'm out here thinking like, well, you're going to do an animated series about Splinter Cell. What's well, a great way to accompany said animated series? I've been trying to pull Thank you for the, five, brother. the entire time. I just want Splinter Cell. Greg. You are a betting man in the wrong way. I will gladly take this. What, what you guys want to see from Ubisoft?
I would say GTA 6 gameplay. Well, what do you guys want to see from Ubisoft? Statement. Stand by. As a Superman fan, let me tell you, Splinter Cell fans, it's time to give it up. You're never gonna get another game. It's not gonna happen. Don't, don't yeah, he's like, he got Chad. He says he's a Superman fan. Me the other day on YouTube. Don't worry about it. Uh, for me, Far Cry 6. Yeah, I know Far we've seen 6. so much about it, but I get more excited the more I see. And the fact, you know, they leaned a little bit and said, we are political. This is a political game. Uh, you know, uh, Giancarlo had a great interview with Jeff Keighley this week where he was talking about, like, I'm not the villain. And I love the fact that he's so into his characters that way. Yeah. I yeah. really hope they get to wow us today and show us, again, Chorizo, the wiener dog. Yeah. Yeah. But it, the truth is, Giancarlo Esposito could do anything. And I yeah. would be glued to my seat. So uh, seeing him in Far Cry, it, it's really going to be fantastic. Uh, and I think, honestly, man, Ubisoft, like, I would like to see some little nuggets out there for division fans. Far Cry? You know, oh. Call of Duty 2021? a massive division fan. Dude, Plays all the time. He always talks to me about it. Maybe we get a little something like that. Right, so, this should so be live. No, right? This they should did, be good. They went out of their way to say no Division 2 update, no Division Heartland. And I'm like, but Division Heartland is supposed to be so... Uh, please just lie to me. Tell me yeah, you're lying lie. to me. Just that's lie. all I want to know. I'm okay with, if you want to lie with me, Ubisoft, okay? The oh, other one man. I think that's, uh, yeah, I got to call it out for blessing Eddie Oye Jr. over at Kind of Funny is Riders Republic. Riders yes. Republic had such a cool debut, then yeah. the delay, like, is that, where are we hitting with that? Where are we at? Yeah. If you have the technology to skip this, guys, please send it my way. Something that would, like, reinvigorate it, right? Yeah, 100%. Uh, you know, we all remember the SSXs of the world. Ubisoft always like hired top actors, actors in mediocre uh, games. Those games, yeah. they were great, they were fantastic. I would really, tough really like to crowd. We have a uh, tough crowd today. Updates on that game. That's a tough uh, crowd right there, man. That's a tough crowd. Like downhill biking as well, mountain biking. Man, I, I love that kind of stuff. Injected right in my veins. Well, I'm that's ready. what's exciting about it, right, is that it's going to be the 2021 version of that, where you yeah. saw all the riders coming together doing that, having XP, having yeah. progression. Uh, the the two-time speed will do, won't do anything, guys, because it's currently well, live. In fact, right, they've already talked about it. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It'll, you'll be getting an update of some kind. How yep. big that is, what Tough does that crowd. mean, we don't know. Uh, obviously, they talked about their TV shows. There's so much stuff going. And that's the main show. Remember, of course, we're going to be going over to a pre-show that's going to be talking about Watch Dogs. It's going to be... <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking. I don't want to string you along any longer. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come for our first presentation. Let's send things over to Ubisoft as they prepare for UB Forward. All right, finally. But it's going to be a talk show again, guys. It, it is what it is for a little bit. And then we're going to see talking. Then we're likely going to see talking, gameplay, another countdown. Okay, that's a pre show, though. That's a pre-show. I'm doing good. Uh, I'll uh, ah! send it over to Ubisoft, my ass. Send it over to Ubisoft, my ass. GTA Primal. Ghost of Tsushima 2. Let me uh, show you guys some... Should I leak the Battlefield gameplay that I was sent? Should I, should I leak it in the meantime? I'm just kidding, I wasn't sent any gameplay. But we have the gameplay teaser though. Got the word W. Mobile game? Nah, I'm kidding, I, I wasn't sent the gameplay. You thought. You, like guys, like come on man. Like don't believe YouTubers. Don't believe don't believe YouTubers. You know, learn this lesson, okay? From now on, don't believe YouTubers. If somebody says they have the gameplay early, don't believe them. Okay, don't believe them. New armor uh, variation. Yo, it's it's I don't know if you saw it, no? But okay, for the people that are coming on right now, this is for the people. I'm just gonna lower the volume down. If you miss this, this is real. Uh, this is real. So we dead ass got this. Uh, the leaks were true though. Just the other day we had gameplay leaked images and shit like that, and today they confirmed this. Uh, tomorrow we're getting the gameplay. Like, look at that, dude. There are how many shits going on here? We got two choppers. So that's, okay, one chopper, that's probably a plane here. And this is a plane. That's a chopper. That's wild. Like, gives me, uh, gives me Battlefield 3 vibes. Look at the building, Cyberfield. Is that Cyberfield there? Say hi to me, XNAS. What's good? How are you doing? Yeah, it's looking really good, man. I'm... Um, I'm excited for this game. We got the sandstorm rolling in. And when the sandstorm rolls in, it's gonna look like nighttime. Okay, if I can find, like, the... I'm just gonna play it here for a sec. Uh, I'm gonna try and find leaked footage. Uh, we have leaked uh, images the other day. Let me find that live here while we're waiting. 2042 leaked images. I'll find it because we actually had leaked images. 
and they are they were legit i i remember uh covering it i believe it has been a week since they were leaked can i find it here all right like, this is the one okay uh there's a youtube video as well over that okay we're gonna pause it here same hud almost the same hud as well yeah these images were real you know we covered that uh on june 4th yep as well let the dogs out yep thank you for subscribing penjolay we will again thank you for subscribing uh wrong one hit the bell so yeah this is the the that cutter map doha cutter this map i'm i'm hyped for this map this map looking amazing dude and keep in mind this is all one map so sandstorm gonna roll in you can see the hud up close so this is the hud you guys like the hud uh this was a leaked image but now it's been confirmed that this is legit because of the gameplay teaser And, and basically, you see the black bars? Basically, the there was the username of the guy who leaked the gameplay, and he did get caught by EA, basically. That's we heard. That's what we heard, and the leaker did get caught, sadly. This is one map. This is all one map. Uh, you see the stadium, people did get PTSD. And when it's the nighttime, or not the nighttime, when the desert uh, storm gonna roll in, it's gonna look like nighttime, bro. Like, I love this shit. I, I really hope we also have the day and night cycle because that's gonna turn one map into two different looking maps, right? But this is like the night and daytime just because we have the, the, the storm coming in. It's not the nighttime, but you know what I mean, right? Does a storm makes it in like nighttime, caught in 4K. And yeah, Black Bars, basically he had something there. He hide, he tried hiding it, but still got caught by EA. Sadly though, like F's in the chat for the homie. But the HUD looking pretty good. Look at that HUD, you know? Same HUD, so same HUD. This is the official teaser gameplay we're gonna see tomorrow. But not sure if we're gonna see gameplay trailer or gameplay gameplay. Thank you for subscribing, brother man. Love you, brother. Let me put this there. Okay, we have that part here. Okay, give me a second. There are two streams happening. Let me see which one should we put. This is the for okay, so both of them are the same. Okay, hold on. Put you there. Alright, we back. They got Witcher? Is that Witcher? No, that's not Witcher. Yeah, Cyber I, I got confused with that cyber field. Yo, the HUD, yeah, the HUD is very good. I love the HUD, the colors especially. Thank you for subscribing, slow moxie. How you doing, brother? This train go boom in battlefield. The train definitely go boom, man. The train definitely go boom. The Osprey isn't just a transport heli, it shoot guns uh, to the front. I know, man. That's Battlefield, dude. Like, I'm oh, genuinely oh, shaking, shaking. <laughs> That's Battlefield. This guy been walking for two minutes. Ubifield. Uh, that's Ubisoft, bro. Walking simulator, brother. Thank you all for 950 likes. Love you all. Appreciate you all, man. Y'all are crazy, man. Ubisoft is Cap Master. Cap Pro Master. Cap Master Pro. Thank you for subscribing, Anthony. I'm shaking. Walking sim. But what game is that? What game is that? Anybody knows the name? What are they showing? I uh, mean, there's constantly like pre-shows after pre-shows. Whoever thought about the idea of pre-show, they need to be fired. They need to be, they need to be fired. Thank you for the two paper, brother. Nick Taylor. Thank you for the two. Bobby. E3 finna have me twerking. Don't twerk, man. Twerking's bad. Bad for health. Bad for health. Gotta be Valhalla, right? I don't know. I never played Valhalla. Yeah, it kind of looks like Valhalla to me. Has to be. Assassin's Creed Field. Uh, no, Assassin's Creed Punk. Could be Elder Scrolls 6. Nah. Not Elder Scrolls. Oh, okay. Music. Little bit of the music. I get bro. Uh, I was hyped for no reason. Goodbye now. I every uh, dude, don't worry, man. Like the actual, it's just the beginning, bro. It's gonna be good. Hopefully, okay. Hopefully, please be good. Okay, Ubisoft. Okay, show us the goods. Accessibility at Ubisoft, where we are today. But I don't blame you, Avery. Like in the disability community, we have a saying: "Nothing about us without us." Is to say our rights, access, and inclusion in the world Thank you, Nick. can't be met Thank you, Tom. in proper or full ways without direct involvement. It's as true for gaming as it is access to a building. It's really important to us that we work with the community to improve accessibility. By not just involving, but valuing players and developers with first-hand experience of disability, 
we're much less likely to make no, they show mistakes Battlefield. than our uh, They showed the gameplay teaser. Even if our efforts are well-intentioned, they might not really reduce the barrier Go, or contribute to stigma. We're really thankful and proud of the community for their contributions. We have a tough when crowd. I Guys, gotta be nice, man. with Ubisoft on Watch Dogs Legion. Be nice, Chad. There, there's a time and place for joking and shit, but like, let's not joke around the disability table, part, right? Going through tough crowd, ideas tough crowd, tough crowd. on how a feature could be used, like the directional captioning, or what kind of information That's all could the be homies on the right screen now. That's all the, the homies right time. now. That's all the homies Whatever right now. That's Ubisoft. Whatever could be removed. There was a lot hey, yo, of going back me? I got and you, bro. forth to make sure there was no it confusion. It was great how they were double checking this to make is, sure they got it right. This is how it, it is it is nowadays. You know, I that's E3 2021. For you watching the stream? Something companies you see them talking, you throw? Talk about. You put it down because you cannot throw because it costs money. It costs money. Watch Dogs and Legion then plays anyone. This is literally all of us right now. Smash like button if that's you. Diversity and inclusion that inspired our team to make accessibility a core pillar of our design from the very beginning. That's the all game of us right now. The offers a visualized sound effect system that captions hundreds of ambient countdown to our countdown mind blown sounds, right? from birds singing to footsteps to cars accelerating or crashing any of you really into uh, watchdogs or not and spatialized with a directional indicator the watchdogs legion's team is extremely proud to have achieved this new level of accessibility but it's only the beginning games that are truly accessible Respect to everyone to all the deaf gamers. require yeah, continuous innovation and effort and i look forward to seeing today's innovation hey, yo. Uh, Mike, that part is not SGW. That's basically disabil uh, disabled people, uh, people with disabilities. That's not SGW. There's a difference. There's a difference. Uh, early in the process, we have options for players to I love you, Mike, their text love you, man. size, You're but also homie. the text size of the subtitles. You can add a background but to this your all height right elements now. to make sure the contrast is good Let me show you guys my meme folder we here. We can adjust the icon size also. Uh, I got so many images setup. there. We want to make sure you get the most out of it. Ubisoft's goal is to make games that enrich our players' lives. And key to that is making games that are inclusive and accessible to all. That's all of us right now. All. What we've seen uh, is that's that not by us. talking that's to not the us. community and learning from each other, our teams are really inspired to innovate and find solutions, striving to challenge themselves and always... Thank you for subscribing, Cowboy. Love you, man. Cowboy Mustache. E E what E E's man E E was what it is. Come on Ubisoft, show us the gameplay. Show us the gameplay. Oh, we got a Call of Duty 2021 gameplay. Wait, leaked? Confirmed? 4K? Uh, 120 FPS? Wait, what? She looking like a snack? Bruh, stop simping. Stop, stop thinking, Nate. The PR jobs are cringe. Hopefully, a new Splinter Cell. Oh yeah, there were rumors about that. Uh, Splinter Cell made by Ubisoft. Because I don't know who made it, but I know there were rumors. You speak, uh, you often speak Urdu? From which country are you? Uh, I'm from Pakistan. I do speak Urdu at home. I Urdu in the house. I Urdu in the house. Pop up the JTL uh, meme up, bro. I, I did. I did. I did, my man. Anybody into Watch Dogs? Like, Watch Dogs did came out. I did play early. Yeah, the game is pretty good. It's pretty decent, but... Yeah, mind is not blown, though. Like, I look at it, I don't get hit in the G-spot, though. Like, I don't know, man. Maybe it's me. Like, you guys... I, I heard that you, you guys love the Ubisoft games. I heard that. Somebody told me that you guys love it. But you guys are always mind-blown. And I'm like, how is that possible? Like, what's that... Uh, is that cap or facts? How did you learn English? By watching YouTube and doing YouTube, bro. Not even joking. Like, I went to a French school. Uh, and my French is so bad. And I went to a French school. My English, is, my English is terrible as well. But it's way better than my French. I'll say that. Uh, so, yeah, learning every day. You know, learning a little bit every day, man. That's basically where we are. You ask him, monster. Thank you for subscribing, happy, man. What up, man? Big man, big legend. Lamont same, bro. Yeah, man. I heard that. I heard that you guys get mind blown over that kind of shit. Which is like, yeah, like I. But the thing is that that's just the word on the street. Now I gotta know from you, like, do you like? Are you guys mind blown over uh, Ubisoft? But Watch Dogs, pretty good, right? Uh, there wasn't co any controversy about this game, unlike Cyber Cyberpunk, if that makes sense. So yeah, man, like. Believe it or not, guys, like this game was uh, pretty, uh, pretty decent, pretty decent. Why is everyone canceling Slushy? Because a Slushy, 
Slushy is like this guy. I'll show you that. I gotta find the right meme for Slushy. Slushy is... Slushy is like this guy. This is how Slushy reads comments. This is how Slushy reads comments. And this is Slushy when people get mad. Sadly. Sadly. And this is all of us. And this is me after reading every everyone go at the homie slushy. And then uh, say say something bad about Xbox so I can pull a meme out. Say uh, say something mean about Xbox real quick, guys. I wanna pull uh, Phil Spencer with the with the with the white pole. You wanna see Phil Spencer with the with the gun? Say something mean about Xbox real quick in a joking way. Now don't get offended, okay? We're just joking around. Uh, don't, I know people get offended over Sony ponies and Xbox. Say something, say something mean. Say something just wild. Uh, say something, okay, Xbox is shit, Xbox is like, hey. That's Phil Spencer for you. Dude, like, whoever made this meme, legend. Legend. That's like, giving, <laughs> giving the, the homie that weapon in his hands. One of my favorite meme of all time, easily top 10. That's Phil Spencer laughing. Yo, shit, we have Nintendo, we have Sony ponies and Xbox all together. And people out there fighting over Xbox and PlayStation all day, every day, right? Did we really hit 1,000 likes? Y'all are like, y'all are crazy, man. Like, I don't hit 1,000 likes like that, man. Thank you all, man. Thank you all. That smile, look at that smile. Damn. Look at that. Okay, what, what else? Let me show you more. Like, I got so many. Yeah, this is one of my favorite as well. This is when I see Slushy's constantly saying Call of Duty sucks. I mean, he's spitting facts, but you know what I mean, right? He constantly say that. That's why you started a console war. Did I? Did I? I didn't know. All right, say something mean about PlayStation. And then we're gonna say something mean about Soldier Boy console. Let, 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 let it all out, man. Let it all out. Let it all out. So, a Sony Pony for that. I will, I will sacrifice my life for Pakistan. If you know that meme, you know what I mean. Yeah. 4th of July 2021. Okay, that game looks decent. That's like Fall Guys-ish, right? Fall Guys, but with the cars. That's Poggers. Uh, if you're a mod galaxy, uh, any mods out here, you see comments, just click show because uh, YouTube is blacklisting literally everyone. That's sad. Let me lower the volume just a tiny bit down. Yeah, we're gonna chill for a little bit, man. Uh, fall cars, yeah, man. The game looks good. Uh, I like far. Uh, I, I like I like Fall Guys. Uh, haven't played in in a while, but Fall Guys pretty good. Fall Guys pretty good. So Ubisoft is the, the, the cap pro master. They love cupping, so uh, you love me. Uh, they, they always do that kind of shit. But that's wild. That, that's like literally copying the whole idea, but changing up the, uh, the skins. That's like Activision. That's like Activision. Don't Activision do that? They do that all the time. But be, you don't want to be saying that they're stealing or copying because let's be real. Everything, everything you listen to or watch, like all the movies, TV shows, uh, that goes for me as well, YouTubers, and literally everybody, all of, all of you guys as well, we're all inspired off of something, right? Like, nothing is original. Nothing is. Like, we, the, the, the world has been going on for like billions and billions of years, so nothing is original. Even if you see something that's original, it's not original, because that, uh, the guy or the, the company who had made that uh, movie, music, or game, it has been inspired off of something. It's all about, because like, not, nothing is original because so many ideas have been done, you know, that's why you have remixes and shit like that So yeah, that's another argument. That's another argument For example, uh, a human can never Draw a face of a human that does not exist. AI recently uh, I'm not sure if you guys have been in the loops or not, but AI recently made uh, Designed the face or came up with faces that do not exist in real life they made faces of uh, people that don't exist, but a human cannot do that because whatever you draw, you you have seen it somewhere. It's like uh, in your subconscious. Yes, yeah, cr crazy stuff, right? So 
humans uh, are always inspired. No, uh, nothing is original. You, you technically you can say this is Dalarama version of Flight Simulator. Explain me anime then. I, I, I don't watch anime. I don't watch anime. But this is for you, Capitaly. You've been watching too much anime. But no, man. Like even uh, anime inspired off of cartoon, uh, cartoons and shit. But but my point here is that in the beginning, yes, uh, things were original. But nowadays, like everything is inspired, which is not a bad thing. But my point here is that I know people uh, complain about, yo, that's copy, that, uh, that, that, that they stole something. And sometimes it's blatant, but more often than not, it's uh, it being inspired, right? Uh, so that was the point, that was the point. If I, if I offended somebody, cancel me, I, I don't care. You wanna cancel me? That's anti, bro? Yeah, man, that, like, gotta, gotta deliver the goods. Explain GTA 6 to me then. GTA 5, inspired by GTA 5, and the previous GTA games, inspired by real life. You know what I mean? Uh, so that's what he is, man. Anime is not real facts. You're gonna, you're gonna uh, offend the weebs, man. What the f am I watching? You're watching. Uh, f 40 minutes until you stop forwarding me. That's what you watching, man. I'm gonna not buy a Battlefield Six if there's no campaign. There is no campaign. They confirmed it. Anybody mad about no campaign? I'm not mad. I love single player games, but Battlefield is a game that I buy it for multiplayer so but i buy that but i understand why people are mad some people are mad not everybody very few very few but i'm personally not mad because i i play uh, battlefield for the for the multiplayer man but seven multiplayer maps yeah that's a little bit low and this are three multiplayer modes does that mean we're not gonna get tdm that's sad i want to see team that much because we're gonna get conquest 100 we're gonna get rush and there's another mode that we're gonna get that they have not uh announced it yet Kinda sad, kinda sad about that, kinda sad. I hope we got Team Deathmatch, cause I love Team Deathmatch too, man. I don't wanna, some, sometimes I wanna play Team Deathmatch as well. Uh, what's your accent? You speak another language? Uh, I speak five languages, no, I speak six languages. I speak English, French, uh, Urdu, Hindi, Punjabi. Urdu, Hindi, and Punjab Punjabi, they are almost the same. So technically I speak three languages, but you know, they are called different languages. So that's that. And the sixth language, should I re should I reveal the sixth language? What in the chat if I should reveal it? I don't know if you guys well, will you be able to handle see that. On social media, um, a game announcing that it's gone gold. Yeah, you guys the won't be able to handle that. So that that F you guys, you uh, I cannot. Already, so I'm Get on! Uh, I speak the language of bullshit. I speak the language of bullshit, so I speak so six the languages. Game has gone gold, it means that the game has been approved for manufacture. So that can be Sony, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, Nintendo, whichever platforms we're targeting for that specific game. Google the game is, is still stable. Playable. Um, it's it's stable. It's got a decent level of performance, um, and everything's basically working. And, and uh, I speak Urdu, right? I'm from Pakistan, and generally people don't say Google. They say googly, googly. Uh, it's cool, uh, not ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. It's funny, man. But that's like not everybody. That's like the the, the slang kind of. Uh, but but for some people, that's accurate. That's a real uh, accent. I love accents, man. What's your favorite accent? My favorite accent has to be Russian. Then I would say Spanish. When Spanish people talk in uh, English, like my style, amigo. If you watch anime and then only clear, you need to medical attention, me. It's because I like the Gringo language a lot. Is is that even an accent? I don't know. I heard that. Hopefully that's not a bad word because I, I don't know if that's a bad word because there are a lot of bad words that I don't know and I, you know you never know I might say something and I get cancelled okay, but but is gringo a bad word or a good word or or a, I heard that somewhere I think it's gringo right gringo accent could be wrong could be wrong I love the Russian accent I, I cannot do Scottish accent my friend what's your name my name is Usman man yeah chill bro TikTok man up snow Spanish is backwards English uh, uh, African accent as well I love that African African accent man on the black why are you gay why are you gay uh, gringo means white guy? Gringo not a bad word? Okay, gotcha, gotcha. I heard that somewhere, it just came out, you know? Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Gringo means foreigner? Alright, gotcha. This man is beast! Uh, I'm always beast, always beast, always beast. Cancel me. Cancel me. Uh, what is Africano? Uh, I love the accent. I love the everyday man on the black. Uh, Antal, you be, uh, why are you gay? You are gay. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, right? Like, don't cancel me. For two people that don't know, it's just uh, somebody actually said that on news. Uh, somebody was homosexual, which is perfectly fine if you are. I don't judge anybody. But 
somebody was and he came on the news channel and the news anchor was like hey man why are you gay you are gay so that's the meme for two people that don't know everybody knows about it but two people will definitely not know about that so ye obvious base obvious base this man is obvious base facts no printer facts no printer I love the endless amount of uh this, this is low-key like loading screen. I like it, I like it. Oh, but we need the gameplays, man. We need the gameplays. In Indian accent is the weirdest. Uh Indian accent very good, my friend. Yeah, in, in Indian accent and Pakistani accent, it's funny, dude. It's really funny. But uh, there's a little bit of difference. For example, you don't say school, you say a school. Uh tree, tree. You wanna see the tree? There were trees. Uh, a snow, a snow. You don't say snow, you say a snow. Uh, Pepsi, Piega, Pepsi. A lot of people, I, I don't know, like, they drink... A lot of people, like, are crazy, man. They drink... Instead of drinking water in the morning, they drink Pepsi. Crazy, man. Gotta drink water, man. Drink water. Thank you all for 1,000 likes. Love you all. Appreciate you all. Okay, so Brendan... Brendan says, oh my god, you guys are dumb. He literally... Brendan literally uh, called everybody dumb. Somebody called a... Uh, uh, call the po call the police, man. Call the popo, man. Uh, do you know what thumbs up is? Nope. I'm retarded. Uh, are you from Pakistan? Yep, I'm from Pakistan. California? Keep, uh, Pepsi. Yeah, Pepsi. Pepsi. Do you like Ireland? I mean, I don't hate it. Never went there, so I don't know, man. Make a Discord server. Uh, I, I, I don't know if I can do that, man. Uh, like, I, 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 I'm a Discord noob. I'm a Discord noob. Maybe, maybe one day I'll make that, man. Uh, boat simulator. Are you from Scotland? Nah, man. Are you from Mers? I'm an Indian, though. Uh, Pipsi Piega, Dave. Uh, Pipsi Piega. Pipsi Paladu. Uh, shut up, uh, Slushy. Okay, don't be mean to Slushy, man. Don't be mean to Slushy, Lord. Slushy is the homie. Yeah, boy. Have you played any Batman games? Uh, a little bit, yeah. I need to finish the, the trilogy. I never played, but I played a little bit. Uh, I need to finish all of them. I was so excited for, like, another Batman game, but they're coming out with Gotham Knights, which is looking good. But I need, like, a solid uh, uh, Batman game, you know what I mean? Where my Punjabi nibbas at? Uh, you were the Punjabi nibbas at? You don't say the N-word unless you're brown, man. Eh? We cannot give you the pass. I'm brown. I'm brown. We cannot give you that pass. We cannot give anybody that N-word pass. Yo, Matthew, what do you, what do, you do, okay? Abhi nav, kaise ho, paaji, thik thak? Yeah, uh, gaan at 34 minutes, man. 34 minutes. Salon ko ulte haat ki ek lagani chahiye, man. Salon ki bish pushte ganji peda ho. Tab ja ke game play denge. Say the Indian N word. Yo, what's the Indian N word? Honestly, no cap. There's a song in India. A, a, or I'm not sure if Pakistan, if Pakistan made that or India made that. I don't know. But there's a song, literally. If you type, like, literally the N word. I literally the N word. There's when a song with literally the N word, project, the but it's a completely got, different yeah, meaning. Probably. It's a completely different meaning. But if you're Eng like if if you don't speak Urdu or Hindi, and if you're English or someone that do not know, you're gonna listen to that song and you're gonna be like, "Yo, they are crazy racist." You're gonna say that, and I don't blame you because the literally the N I G D the the, the full N word. There's a different meaning in Urdu and Hindi. Like, I I'm being dead ass for real. The highlands and islands in like, if you search that, that song, you will see. I cannot play I the song because it's copyrighted. I understood quickly that myself and people in the music team of, of Ubisoft, nah, we had man, a lot I of the same it, I'll get canceled. ideas of, of, and, and vision of what Not that I'll get canceled. Uh, I mean, I'm brown. Uh, it's not that I get, I'll, I'll get canceled. It's just that uh, we're on YouTube, so I don't want to say the N-word. Except that I could already hear the music in a way. I've known Julie for a, for a long time, been a, it, been a fan, and uh, yeah, always hoped. Uh, I, I, I can't, even if I wanted, like, I, I can't a, say it. An opportunity to do something together. I don't want to say it. I either. do connect to, it means to, eyes. Um, to her way of approaching the older okay, um, I, I see, yeah. song traditions. It, it feels Chris, great to have her me. part of this. It was certainly a. It means I, I, I didn't know what it meant. I okay, love his work. I'll take I it. It kind of makes sense and his because of the context. To making music, to work with Einar on these songs um, was just something to me that felt quite natural and really enjoyable, actually. I am yeah, this music makes me feel like I'm, the, I'm in uh, heaven. The lyre, which would be the most common string instrument at the time, 
I of course use the, uh, the the bronze horns that we the horns? also have in in Scandinavia and, and Yo, that mofo was, was big, present in bro. Ireland at this time and and for a long period before this as well. One instrument that, means that I introduced that I didn't got you, got you. use in the main game is Yeah, I is personally did not know what it meant. It's a form of lyre. Uh, was present Thank in both Ireland milk. and Wales and Scotland. Love you, baby. So of the two songs that we worked on, one of them was an old Irish, uh, Flan for Eden. That is actually an excerpt of a poem dating from the early 800s. That was the intention of the song, creating Yeah, and I, I see you, you guys don't care about it. I'm bored, let's bully Slushy for entertainment. Yeah, man, I'm also bored. Uh, say the wildest thing ever, while being respectful in chat. Say the wildest thing. Say the wildest thing. Let's, you guys want to bully Slushy? Do you guys want to bully Slushy then? Let's bully Tok. Because I, I feel like that we have bullied Slushy for a while. Yo, Tok, you can take it, right? Yeah, I gotta, first of all... Uh, I, yo, one day I gotta mod Tok, man. I gotta mod. I actually modded the homie Slushy, but the problem is he always bans everybody, so I had to unmod the man. I love the homie Slushy, but I had to unmod the man. Bully me? Okay, let's bully CG then. Yeah, man, for entertainment. Okay, you know what? Let's start shit. Let's start some shit. We wanted the uh, let's start some shit. The, the uh, why is Xbox trash? Is why is Xbox trash? Tell me. Why is Xbox trash? Let's start something. Come yeah, on, dude. Let's start some shit. Actually know for sure how it sounded, uh, I was so given the literally summer game fest all over again. Guess. Yeah, people really get mad when you uh, talk uh, crap about Xbox or PS5. Why is PlayStation the the worst console to ever exist uh, exist in the the whole of humanity? Why is that? I never understood why people would buy PlayStation. You know what I mean? Let's start something. Oh, okay, we're, we're fully engaged in it. Because uh, Phil keeps hanging a carrot in front of Xbox. Uh, Xbox promising games. It's 4 a.m. here in Australia. Has Battlefield shown yet? They only uh, they showed the gameplay teaser yet uh, so far. It's gonna looking like a knockoff. Uh, Shadow Shadowhorn. Who's Shadowhorn? I don't even know who Shadowhorn. He might be looking like me though, I don't know. He might be copying me, you never know bro. It's not that I look like him, it's that he looks like me. You know, that's the... That's the... That's, the, that's my alternative ego talking right now. Free year! It's just mobile games? Yeah, probably mobile games. Yeah, how many mobile games you guys think we're gonna get today? 29 minutes till stream. I'm Obama and I approve this message. Yo, we, we got more fucking Obama in chat. Damn, son. Thank y'all for 1k likes. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. We're all Mr. 1100. Love y'all. I'm waiting for Metal Gear. Are, are you? Uh, Metal Gear? I never played Metal Gear. I never played Metal Gear. I only played like three games in my entire life. Those are Call of Booties, Battlefields, GTAs, and storytelling games. So four games in life. Or four genre of games. Uh, believe it or not. And I call myself a gamer. Somebody just end my career right now. Just just bully me in chat. Just bully me right now. Uh, bye, ki hal chal. TikTok, man. Apps not kya hal Xbox has literally spent its entire life trying to be PlayStation. Ooh, you're gonna offend people. Damn, that's a good one. You're gonna, ooh, you're gonna offend people. Uh, Skiz will be looking like he has never seen or touched a whammon. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I mean, you guys are the ones to simp whenever there's a whammon coming up and you're gonna blame me, my guy? You're gonna blame me, my guy? You capping, man. You're cap pro master, my cock. You're cap pro master. Never talk to my, my son again. Uh, Call of Duty players uh, don't know how to play Battlefield uh, because they are dumb. Ooh, yo, that, that's gonna go over a ton of people people hate right now. Soldier Boy console better? Yeah, I heard it, it can do 500 FPS. It's gonna do 500 FPS. Mobile games are... Uh, mobile gamers are, I know, abomination in the eyes of God. You know, a lot of people are, might be verified on Twitter, but are you verified in the eyes of God? There was a meme, there was a kid who said that, unknown, and these are facts, these are facts. Maybe you're verified on Twitter, but are you, are you verified in the eyes of God? Probably not, probably not. Probably not, right? You gotta be verified in the eyes of God first. Are you Lori? Yeah, I'm Lori, man. Elha, what's good, bro? What's up, Dungeon? How you doing, man? That's deep, no cap. Yeah, it is deep. Super deep. Big deep, big deep. No cap. No cap, but cap. Facts, no printer. Facts, no printer. Halo and Battlefield players are alpha males. Dude, I gotta go. 
pick up piss again. That's bad. I have a small bladder. Like, I hate it, man. I hate it. Anybody got small bladders? Like, I gotta go take a piss again, which is sad. Like, why me? Like, why me? Why couldn't I... Like, I... That's why, like, I, I'm like... Why couldn't God give me, like, a big bladder? Anybody got a big... Okay, you got a small bladder or a big bladder? Yeah, small bladder. People lives matter too, man. I have a small bladder. Halo and Battle Filler, Giga Chats. Jesus Christ uh, is the life, the way, and the truth. We respect Jesus Christ 100%. Peace be upon him. Uh, Call of Duty versus Battlefield work. If we buy, if we buy enough shark cards, Rockstar will make GTA 6 or Primal. That's cap. Don't buy, don't buy shark cards, okay? If you buy shark cards, we're never getting GTA 6. 1986, Brittany, France. The Gino brothers catch a glimpse of the future and launch Ubisoft. No internet, no emails. Just I a bunch once of a day. In a passion for tech Normally I piss like twice a day, but like I, I, I've been drinking a lot, of, not even a lot of water, but that's wild. That will exist in 2030 haven't even been invented yet. Since oh, Ubisoft can't predict the future, we need people ready to forge it. Talented people who aren't afraid to create the unknown. And Amandine Lower is one of those people. This is Amandine. Cuckoo. She hates <laughs> interviews. Sorry about that. But uh, we'll find a yo, way. That's so French. Because it's that's worth cuckoo, it. Like, yeah. I could tell you she's a junior developer, a graduate of a video game school, but I won't because she's not. Instead, I remember my French teachers used to do that shit. That's the gayest well, thing ever, married, man. Way, but I but it's really it's a lady, this, so who cares? I know Amandine and I know Ubisoft. She'll correct me if I get anything wrong. I can do that. Amandine loves arts and crafts. She draws illustrations and character art. My she can engaging? crochet tiny cute animals. She studies. Uh, Mohammed uh, Taslim Lahore, I said that earlier. She lived in New Mexico and Japan. In each new place, she started off from scratch, totally lost, barely understanding a word, and she loved it. Wow, I bro. can't say it was always easy, but I love developing new skills to get out of tricky situations. This is Peo. He hates turning his camera uh, on. To become a YouTuber, calls. you don't. Don't make an exception for you. Don't don't ever become a YouTuber being real unless you have 10, 20 years to spare without making a single dime. Like uh, like I spent like seven years without making any money whatsoever, and now I'm, I'm doing decent. I'm doing. That's thanks to all of you. Like genuinely being grateful. Like I'm grateful for all of you. Like trust. Me. Don't and that's just. But don't become a YouTuber unless you have 10 years. Especially like nowadays, it's really hard. She felt this job was a. You have, unless you love it, if you love doing, if you love making videos, if you don't love making videos, then don't. You're gonna be on it all day, every day. I wake up and that's all I do. I have other stuff too, but that's all I do. For the most part. she's now the one in charge of sending the email. Unless you have 10, 10 years to let it go like that, don't do it. This is Colleen. She's a content communications manager. She helped Amandine build on what she learned with Peo when she hired her next. She wasn't afraid to break with convention, and I really encourage that. Because content. it provides a new way Stop. of doing Nonsense. things. Amandine started organizing conferences and writing speeches for Ubisoft speakers. She was learning something new again, and she wow. loved it. I know it sounds weird, but she's telling the truth. I love a good challenge. But in Amandine's head, a little seed had been planted. An idea was forming. She was so close to the people making the games she loved. Two years later, it became clear. She wanted to be a line designer. Amandine reached out to Elizabeth. She was leading you teams of watching. line designers at the time. The way she talked about the game she liked was so passionate and professional. Passionate. She so was even able to, to connect an IP to a player journey and talk about those tiny details that can sometimes make a huge difference on the quality of the game. Amandine huge. started helping production huge. teams design the content of their games. She's one of the bridges between the top management at HQ and the production teams in Ubisoft Studios Positions around the world. Mic hawk now. We're never gonna she is an interpreter, mic. as she has always been. Yes, being a line designer is all about communication. You can always reinterpret your skills in a brand new way. Looking back, without... I mean, this is pre-show, but somebody cancel Ubisoft. That's it. Thanks, Amandine, for your inspiring story. Merci. Before I go, Merci. did you like this story? No, Head over no. to Ubisoft. We have a tough crowd. To hear more we don't like just it. like this one and maybe even take your first step towards creating the unknown with Ubisoft. All right. Uh, drink G Fuel to stop bladder. Uh, dude, if you're drink G Fuel, like, that's literally like, yeah, man, you won't even have a bladder again. So, you're right, you're right. No trailers. Of, uh, it's starting in 22 minutes, so we're gonna get trailers, gameplay. Uh, likely mobile games and indie games. It's not a pro. Indie games are not bad, but. Every game is indie game. Yeah, what the fuck is that, man? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Alright. Get back to normal. Get back to normal. Get back to normal. Alright.
Again, we're gonna have the endless pile of gameplay there. Man, pre-shows are tough. They are tough. That's tough, motherfucker. Can't wait to see Battlefield gameplay, bro. I'm pumped, bro. Bry guy. I, I know you're into Call of Duty as well, Bry. But are you, like, really, really looking forward to Battlefield? Because uh, if you are, man, I'm telling you, man. Tell me one Battlefield game you played. If you haven't, try Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 5. Battlefield 5 was free, so I hope you got it. Battlefield 5 is not the best Battlefield game out there, but it's still good, though, you know? Yeah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta play some, because uh, Battlefield, the next Battlefield game gonna be amazing, man. It's gonna be great, dude. I, I, I can't wait for that. What's your favorite fighting game? Used to be SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, bro. Like, I love that. It was the first game that came with PS3. It was on PS3. The graphics were really good for the time. It was the last best uh, SmackDown vs. Raw game. Button Mansion was a thing. And it was on PS3. Good, good graphics and shit for the time. Yeah, I miss uh, SmackDown vs. Raw. We had very the live match in that too, I guess. Right? SmackDown vs. Raw. My favorite. Did you watch the BF50 multiplayer video? Yep, I did. I did for the people that missed it. Let me show that. It's looking very good, man. Very, very good. Yeah, this is the one. Gameplay tomorrow. Uh, but they show that. I I'll make a video because there was a huge gameplay leak detail that came out yesterday. Uh, I'll make a video tonight. Hopefully, hopefully. Because that suggests that we're going to be getting Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 maps in Battlefield as well. With the Battlefield hub. Uh, it's a leak. So, uh, mostly all the leaks have come through. But still, you don't want to like let your dog out on that, right? You never know. It might not be true, but I hope it's true. So I'll, I'll make a video on it. Uh, and, and this one as well. We had leaked screenshots, so yeah. But this is official now. I love it, man. I'm pumped. Yeah, to I, I gotta, I gotta mod you. But my problem is that like you will, you might start banning other people. So that's the thing, man. Uh, I'll, okay, you know what? I'll try it out. Let me mod the homie Toad because you're Toad. I, I see you all the time. Don't ask for mods, guys. Uh, or ask for mods. I'll give everybody mod. You, anybody want a mod? One in the chat if you want a mod. Uh, but but so, here's the thing. You cannot time out people if you disagree with their opinion. Only time out people that would self-promote right or, you know, being toxic dead. towards other people. If somebody's being toxic towards me, you don't have to time it out, all right? And don't, never block anybody. That's, that's basically the rule. Yeah, I, I hit you up. All right. Anybody who says one... You are now given the uh, ultimate invisible mod. Are you shaking? Are you shaking? Let me know, man. Everybody's a mod right now. Invisible mod. Invisible mod. Everybody, a mod. Everybody, you're a mod. 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 Everybody's a mod. Everybody get free mods. Free mods. But now, nah, man, trust me. Tone is somebody that I see every day. Slushy as well. But Slushy, uh, I love you. Slushy, you're a pro max uh, mod. But invisible. invisible. Everybody's a mod. Everybody's a mod. You should genuinely make me a mod. Your mic, I would love to, but man, you're gonna... Nah, man, I can't do it, man. The... You said some of the wildest thing ever. Some of the wildest thing ever. Uh, one day I got you, Mike. Mike, should we... Okay, here's the thing. People... People will decide. Should I... Should I... Uh, mod... Mike? One if yes, two if not. Please, please say two. Please say two. Please say two. Should I mod him? One or two? Please say two. Please say two. Please say two. 18 minutes. Yeah, we have, like, you see, like, that's the thing, man. People saying two, I cannot. Yeah, like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, cannot watch you, man. Game, game watch you, man. Yeah, everybody's, like, saying two, Mike, sadly, though. Yeah, this is why I hate everybody, man. This is why you cannot have good things in life. People are tough. We have a tough crowd. We have a tough crowd, man. People so bad. I why can't people see other people succeeding? Just sad. It's just sad, man. Just sad. Uh, uh, Skizzle beast. Uh, now nah, I'm effing around, dude. Mike, I'll, I'll I'll get you eventually. Like seriously, I love all of you guys. Like I I appreciate all of you, man. Like genuinely, though. genuinely. Uh, Skizzle likes uh, rig. Skizzle is all of his rig, man. Skizzle is all of his rig. Don't believe Skizzle videos. Alex, thank you for subscribing, man. He always capping. Cap Pro Master. Cap Pro. Uh, Cap Master. Uh, no. Cap. Pro Max. Cap Pro Max. Bro, what are you on? Uh, I'm on uh, water. Water. I'll make you my VP if you uh, give me give me the med token. It's the SJW, bro. They, they got everyone, man. 
You have a big mistake. You have made a big mistake, everyone. Yeah, sadly, I think people made a big mistake right now. People always make mistakes. That's a problem, Mike. That's a problem, right? Mod me, please also look at the the coins uh, cars. Okay, let me check that. Uh, thank you for the two paper, Josh. Uh, I'll, I'll hit you up with that mod. Like, ask me that tomorrow. I'll get back to you like, in two years. I, I got you, man. You have made, you have made a bit. Thank you for the two paper, Joshua. But seriously, you know, when I need, uh, I'll definitely mod you. If I see you a lot, I, I'll mod you, man. I'll mod you. But everybody get an invisible mod. Let me go in the... Let me check that. I'm not super into cars, but that thing is a beauty. That thing is a beauty. Love the car. I uh, wonder if you're everyone. a big car guy. As you may you're already not a know, Ubisoft has I'm been supporting indie studios for many years now. Whether it's on production, innovation, creative, or even financial support, our teams have been supporting indie studios from all over the world. Today, we wanted to use Forward to highlight a selection of indie games we've had the pleasure of supporting recently. Enjoy! Hi, I'm Sandro, the co-founder of Tukana Interactive, a young independent game development studio based in Berlin, Germany, currently working Berlin, on Germany. Golf Romantic. Dorf Romantic is a relaxing strategy and puzzle game where you create an it, Mike, ever -growing idyllic landscape by placing it. tiles. You can immerse yourself in a beautiful, peaceful... Wait, do we have two? Alright, I, I have something else playing as well. Okay, summer game, he's like... Yeah, same thing, alright. Yeah, I had like a bunch of streams. Ahead, but also place your tiles very strategically. We are the lucky winners for Ubisoft's I do remember you Ubisoft's up? camp in the German-speaking area. And we are excited for the upcoming acceleration program where we participate in mentoring yeah, sessions all the games be like and that. are able to receive marketing support, such as the indie game arena booth at Gamescom. Golf Romantic is already available Ubisoft right now so, in early Ubisoft is French as a motherfucker out there, dog. This year. In addition, we also already have plans for mobile and the Nintendo Switch, What's so up, Jason? there's a lot still to be discovered. Thank you for your time and to Ubisoft for this great opportunity. Thank you for the time, Dorf Romantic. Let's hope that we don't get games like hey that. Man. So, I'm Wait, Taylor. I'm one of the co-creators of Bravery Network Online, Cyberpunk content? a game by Gloom, which is our studio. Character? Bravery Network Online is a turn-based strategy Creator? game. You've got a team of five fighters. You're playing against an opponent's yo, team for, of five fighters. Yo, deadass, for a second I thought like I was watching Cyberpunk gameplay there. Like game. when she appeared or he appeared. Don't wanna, don't wanna offend too. anybody. I think that it's a really, really fun world, and I think that the competitive play of it is really solid. We've been working with Ubisoft for a little bit now. We actually are the winners of Ubisoft's 2019 indie series run by Ubisoft. Yeah, Slushy's so so here. They helped us out so much over the years. Oh, so they press press support when we launched into early access. I'll play 2042 they as a tester. Play some Kendrick Lamar. Out, and even Yo, Joshua, thank you for the two, man. Uh, I cannot play Kendrick Lamar, man. That's just copyrighted, bro. Donation to never make never make white. <laughs> we really appreciate yeah, well, that. Thank you, Lola. Thank you for the five minutes. Thank you for the two, now, Joshua, as well. So feel free to. Yeah, never mind. Never mind, Mike. Friends. I would really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, Mike. I, I can. He just paid me. He just bribed me to never make you a mod. He bribed me. He bribed me. I cannot. Uh, 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 like, I. Hello he bribed everyone. me. I'm David I can't Principal, make you a mod, game director on U Circuit Parking. Thank you for bribing me, man. is the world's most extreme parking game Love and probably the only racing game where the goal is to actually stop your car. It's a funny physics-based racer, which doesn't take itself too seriously, but still requires enough skill for you to master the hardest tracks. Yo, we like crashed into the Ubisoft design team a while ago, and we had some great what discussions on now? New Circuit Parking. They gave us excellent advice and great feedback along the road. And they've been championing the game ever since, so we're super grateful for right, that. Game New Circuit Parking presents you with a ton of varied and surprising levels. Minutes, the goal is to fill minutes. every parking spot before the timer runs out. And don't get too attached to your cars though, because you'll have to respawn a lot. Bruh. For the competitive players out there, there's leaderboards in every level so you can compete with your friends and the world for those top spots. And ben for Olmos, everyone that's feeling Henry creative, Wallace. we've also included a level editor that features you, everything that's in the main game. Okay, Obama so trying to Obama trying to bribe bribe me. He says if you make me mod, uh, I'll make your stimulus check three times larger. Sadly, I'm in Canada, so not gonna work, Obama. Get on, dude. Uh, happy parking. Not gonna work, me. Not gonna work, me. Do you think that companies trying to make political correct their game is affect uh, making political correct their game is affecting the industry? Uh, thank for the five. Uh, here's the thing. Personally, uh, I'm the type of guy like I really don't care about politics whatsoever. Uh, I really don't care. I really don't care. Uh, but uh, 
I, and I also, like, SJW is a big thing as well. I don't mind that stuff, but the, the thing that I really hate in video games is that, for example, Battlefield 5 is a great example. They tried to force that. Diversity is good when it makes sense, when it's logical, when it's uh, not forced. But I hate the, the, politi uh, the, the political side and the SJW. Whenever it's uh, forced, that's what I hate. That's what I hate it, but otherwise... I don't hate it. I don't care. Like, if there's a game that I don't like, I will just move on, right? We'll, but as a YouTuber, I'll probably make, like, uh, 10 billion videos all over it, and then I'll move on, right? But but seriously, though, that, that's my take on it. Like, as long as it's not forced, it's fine. It's fine, right? But if it makes sense, then put it in. Uh, put it in. I guess uh, Far Cry is gonna be political. So, uh, and I don't know the... Yeah, Jagana, for me, the audio is really chill. Hi, everyone. I just uh, I'm lower you your audio. Here here at Ubisoft, yeah, I'm sorry. 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 I'm and every two months, yeah, force a new is bad. Just don't we force deliver it. Just don't all force the content it. announced when you're make a game about it. This, if you want I would like to if you want to make a game that's woke, yeah, make a game that's woke, yeah, for their work advertise and it as such. Yes, people will hate it, but whatever. But it's also but time to don't make a game, you, for example, Battlefield 5 was a WW2, right? So don't make that woke or don't, you know, drop that kind of shit, or whatever. People will generally be uh, not. It's not that people will be mad. Yes, some people will be mad, but most people will be like, hey, you know, you're trying to do that. I'm just get mama, man. I'm not gonna buy it. That's basically what it is. So many French people? In game, stop it. Also, next week, enjoy one event. Mike is a racist. Confirm. No, I'm kidding. In a special yeah, Ubisoft anniversary, is, Ubisoft is French to the motherfucker. But it's Ubisoft far from being over. Being over. And I'm Yoko, super Yoko, happy Yoko, to announce Yoko, Yoko, more Yoko, season Yoko. for a fourth year. This new content will, of course, be available through Mother Thank Flicks, God, ten more minutes. Season, I know, man. I gotta go take a piss as well. But enough time. I have a small bladder. And enjoy your glimpse of your next Mother Ubisoft Flicks only show. description is misleading. Thank you all. I know we're having E3. Like this is gonna be a full-blown E3, so I have that description for all the streams that are happening. Uh, like we're having Kick, we're having Xbox, we're having Bethesda, we're having Battlefield Welcome gameplay as well. We the actually got the teaser gameplay today. Like what, the New description York is for all the, the full E3, not Speedy just this thing, for the full E3. Is the French uh, fry uh, flag really all right? I don't know. I don't know. I think we're going to have a great race today. Nine minutes. Let's go. Can we get? I need to take a. Skizzle is racist. Yeah, he's racist. Skizzle, Skizzle is bad. That's Skizzle. Uh, but man, like, okay, two people that will take it for real. I'm in Canada, dog. Like, I'm brown as a motherfucker out there. Like, I speak five languages. I'm in Montreal, Canada. I'm not racist towards French people. Or, uh, I, I, I'm, I, I dead ass went to a French school. I speak French, my guy. I do speak French, so. Uh, yeah. I, I know two people will take it for real, but uh, most of you are Giga Chat, so y'all don't hear me. Y'all are. Uh, your channel is growing, bro. Keep it up. It's all thanks to you guys, man. It's thanks to you and everybody. Yo, what up, Jordan? How you doing, man? But yes, yeah, Skizzle is based. Skizzle is based there. Uh, Loru, yeah, what's up, Loru? How you doing, man? Yeah, that's apparently, like, all what Indian and Pakistani people say. I'm Pakistani, I know what you mean. Uh, you can't have a GTA 6 in this environment. Yo, that's why we're making GTA 5. Dude, society as a whole has turned so soft. It actually saddens me, bro. It really saddens me. It's like, you know, there's a thing where if you actually, uh, for example, right, like, like, I love different accents. Uh, I love accents a lot. And if you do an accent, people will think you're being racist towards that. But that's not being racist. Being racist is some, something that, for example, uh, let's say you're white. And if you're really negative towards, uh, let's say, black people, I'm personally brown. Uh, if you're really negative towards black people, that's being racist. But if you do that, what's this called? If you do their accent, that's not being racist. That's just you uh, having fun with that shit. It's, it's all about intentions. It's all about intentions. Let's not judge anybody, right? There's a difference, there's a difference. Uh, in my opinion, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, Jordan, what up, dude? I do mean. Seven more minutes, boys! Seven more minutes till we get indie games. You thought we're gonna get big games? I'm not racist, just hate everyone. Lol. Okay, that's fair, that's fair. Love your content, keep up the fantastic work. Love you too, brother. There's a difference, there's a difference. Uh, there are a lot of people that would say crazy ass shit out there, but they don't mean it. They're just trying to be edgy. But internet, it's like, 
dude, on the internet, like, y you don't have context, especially in text messages. Like, if you're gonna tweet out something, like, wild out there, even though you don't mean it. For example, I can give you a good example, uh, Quadring and, uh, what's that mofo's name? I watch him all the time. I, I got nothing against the, the homie Review Tech USA, but... But if you have uh, watched that, it's like petty fighting. Like, both of them are fighting over stupid shit. Basically, quadring, the quadring, he got b blocked by Xbox. And he put up a tweet. I viewed that as sarcasm, but Review Tech USA didn't view that as sarcasm. And he made a video on it, and both of them are mad at each other. I mean, they're not mad, but it's just like a petty drama and shit. Uh, so my point here is that I, I, you could say that Xbox bad on, twi uh, on Twitter. Just say a simple word, Xbox bad or PlayStation bad, and people will get mad over that. Even though you don't mean it, right? So that's, uh, we don't have context, that's the thing. Joshua, thank you for the two paper. Watch 2042, a ripoff uh, by born to game Tell what you think. Uh, I'll put it on my notepad. I probably won't be able to watch on stream, because that's it. Uh, that would be the MC. So yeah, that's my point, right? Like, you're, you're not going to have context through tweets. You don't know if the person is being sarcastic or not. But if you put an emoji after that, then you're fine. Uh, Jenna will say Ubisoft, AP, uh, see the upload the Far Cry gameplay, just upload second video, right? Uh, Far Cry, the, uh, the, the title, what, uh, Far Cry 6 gameplay trailer? Uh, I'll send you the title, I'll try to write it out when they're live, alright? Five more minutes. Uh, at least the quadring is... Uh, personally, hey man, like, uh, sometimes I watch quadring, sometimes I watch review, I watch both of them, I got nothing against anybody. They're doing their own thing, right? One thing that I'll say here is that, uh, if you hate somebody, really, like, think about it. Like, the time that you could use that, uh, you can use that time to actually work on yourself. Because, like, why waste your time, like, hating on somebody that... Instead, if you hate somebody, just don't, don't hate it. Just work on, maybe go work a job or hey everyone uh, work on whatever you're passionate about you know i mean like i know Watch some of Dogs you guys Legion. are saying the quadrant sucks this back in that, october 2020 it's fine, it's fine. you, you don't like resistance. it Build that uh, we all uh, we cannot love, love everybody London. we cannot like everybody Since then, right you have even i don't like uh, some stuff but should you waste your time on that now like life is pretty short dude for example, like, I don't watch now, football, but everyone was saying, like, something happened to a I'm footballer. A Just think about it. 29, I, I, I Google searched him, he's 29. Well, I'm not sure if he passed away. I hope he didn't. Some people are saying, some people said that he passed away, some people said that he didn't. He, he didn't. Just think about it, dude. Life is too short. Like, why would you, would you really want to waste your time over that? Nah, man. We're going deep, actually. I don't want to be deep. I don't want to be deep. Let's, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to be deep. I don't want to be deep. Donate to a timeout mic. Uh, yo, uh, Mike, man, just bribe me. Should I time you out? Should I time you out, man? He, he's fine. He's a, thank God, man. Easy, easy. That's a that's a good example, right? That's a really good example. He's fit as a motherfucker, out there, dude. He's fit, and shit like that happened to him. That's bad, right? Uh, all right. Uh, yo, Mike, can I please? Mike, please don't hit me, but can I please time you out? He just bribed me. I I, I, I will feel bad. I will really feel bad because he tipped me five dollars. And I will really feel bad if I don't time you out. Can I please time you out? It will only be five minutes. It will only be five minutes. Can I time you out? What in the chat if I should uh, do what the, the homie just told me to do? He paid me five dollars. He bribed me, bro. He bribed me. He bribed me, man. I don't know. Like, if I... <laughs> you thank you for subscribing, Giga Chat. What up, dude? Hit the bell. Hit the bell. I'm just tired. Three minutes. One. Okay, I'll, uh, let's, let's time out, I need Mike. you to pay attention. Imaginary, okay? I just timed out my, uh, invisible. Okay, it, Mike is not here. Just, just pretend that Mike has been timed out, all right? I just timed Mike. I just timed Mike. All right, uh, guys, I will go take a piss. I will be right back. World record run. Here we go. 250. 250. All right. I'll be back. I'll be back uh, at 145. All right. Here we go. How do I tame the deer? How do I tame the deer? Oh, not like that! 
Um, my bad. No, I feel bad. I'm back. Uh, see, just I made it. I made it back. See, I made it back. World record. World record. The clock is. Uh, my my timeout timer hit. Okay, let me close that. The, the yeah, the clock is rigged. I was back at two. The clock. It's not 140. And the clock is rigged. The clock is rigged. You went for a quick piss. Yeah, went for a quick piss. Dude, like it's bad. Like I went to pissing like three times. Like I've done like a seven hour stream once, and I didn't even win once. Like, bro. And today I went to uh, pissing three times. Crazy, man. I don't understand it, man. I have a small bladder. I have thank you for the 313 paper, man. Yeah, the clock is ticking. The clock is ticking. One minute, one minute, boys. One minute. Uh, one minute. Okay, I'm gonna talk over. I'm gonna yell. I'm gonna yell. I'm gonna yell. And I wanna listen if the audio is good or not. Yell. I'm gonna yell. I'm gonna yell. And I wanna listen if the audio is good or not. Yell. I'm gonna yell. I'm gonna yell. And I wanna. It seems like it's good. Uh, okay, it's good. If somehow my volume is super loud, let me know, alright? Thank you for the 13 paper. Love you, brother. Thank you all for 1.2k likes. Alright, here we go, boys. All the filming has been conducted in line with local Kobe region. Alright, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, UB Punk is going live, alright? Uh, all right, let's get it. Indie games, mobile games, give me all of that. Again, I don't hate it. I hope that we actually have real games as well. Okay, okay, they got a good logo. Hi everyone, and welcome to Ubisoft Forward. I'm Mila. And I'm Yusuf. We're so thrilled to be back hosting Ubisoft Forward. Over the next hour, we'll be your guides to all the latest news and exciting Stop announcements simping. coming from Ubisoft. We've got so much in store for you today, including deeper looks at Far Cry 6, Riders Republic, and Rainbow Six, plus a few other surprises you'll find out about soon enough. Neelam, I'm excited. We're filming this together. We got this gorgeous set. E3 is back. But I know why y'all are here. You want to see games. So let's get right into it. The Rainbow Six operators are facing off against an evolving and deadly yeah, she's threat. Waifu. You'll she's no waifu. doubt have noticed that the alien parasite has spread to new areas. It's time to suit up and step into the containment zone. Here's a deeper look at Rainbow Six Extraction. Uh, Rainbow, is that the zombies mod? All right, Toasty, thank you for subscribing. I used bell. to feel so much peace staring into the heavens <laughs> until a piece of it fell. Yeah, dramatic run. You know I mean? Oh shit, okay. All right, Ubisoft with the CGI's. Yo, who makes good CGI's? Ubisoft or Activision? We thought it could we be thought. contained. But it evolved. Wow, dude. So we did too. One of our own is MIA. I need an extraction team. Now. Yo, where is Fine Bros? They have the word react. Them, where is Fine Bros? They're gonna copy strike that. Thank you for subscribing, brother. Y'all remember Fine Bros? But I know. Yeah, guys. You will find me. I mean, they make yeah, they, they make first. Sense. But I was being sarcastic with the CGI's. Okay, this Nomad, secure our exit. I'll take out the nests. Okay, looks good. Ivana. I have your signal. Let's go. We are already out of the nests. Incoming. Cosmos. Yeah, Diana, see, she will upload some Sila. Uh, do video for that. Thank you for subscribing, Nathan. Clear. Let's move 
move up. Clock's ticking. I found her! I'm not sure if he's spitting facts or not. Make for the exit. An apex. Get down. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Yo, what's that? Ella, look out. I don't have the shot. Not so fast. Yo, is that like the zombies alien mode? That they showed like years ago? Okay, looks pretty good. Okay, I'm blind. I'm blind. Y'all blind. Come on! Just stop it. Thoughts? Hey, you all throwing me a party? <laughs> yeah. Too bad you missed all the fireworks. Yo, we're, we're the experts yeah, at right we're now. Not done yet. They will be like, yo, yeah, this is SJW. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, extraction, a Ubisoft original. Okay, so is that... Okay, I'm confused. Is that the, the zombie slash, like, alien uh, game or rainbow mode that we saw, like, years ago? Is that the one? Because I, I, I don't play Rainbow. I know you must have rainbow. a ton of questions after seeing that trailer. And we Yone, have Yone. answers, as well as a full gameplay walkthrough coming up, so hang tight. My name is Richard. I'm your resident community developer coming to you from North Carolina. We're thrilled oh, to shit. be back to give you an introduction to yeah? Rainbow okay, Six gotcha. Extraction. Because it's different. It looked different. Uh, it looked way better now. But it's still With CGI. With me today in Montreal, play. I have Bruno Lalonde, our lead technical director, and Alicia Fortier, game designer, to help walk us through. Alicia, what can we tell our players about Extraction? Extraction is a one to three player co-op experience. You might think you know what you're getting into since there's going to be some of your favorite Rainbow Six operators, but it's going to be completely different because this time you're not fighting against each other. You're coming together to face an unprecedented evolving you see, we gotta wait for the gameplay first before some we can go on the Oscar route. Gadgets and tech should feel familiar to Siege players but this time, as you progress through the game, you'll unlock new ability upgrades and a whole new arsenal specifically Bro, designed to take on this new threat. So Dude, the operators we I wanted just saw that kind of shit in Call of Duty Zombies familiar. again. No, what, they're giving it. That's good. Ivana? She got captured. In extraction, you're always putting it all on the line. If your teammate falls during an incursion, you're going to go missing in action. You can't play MIA operators until they're safely recovered. You and your squad are gonna have to come back together to get back in there and get them Alicia, out. Alicia, for the turning paper. Every time you go in the containment zone, Stop you with risk the losing all your progress and upgrades. So stay on your toes and weigh every move you make. Balancing cap, that risk and reward scenario is going to be tough. Bruno, can you tell us a little bit more about the alien threat? What is it? Who are they? And where do they come from? What we know is the Archims are an evolved form of the parasite that was parasite. first detected a few years ago during the heartbreak event in New Mexico. Mexico. But a lot has changed since. The parasite has spread to three new regions, emerging in several containment zones within New York, San Francisco, New York. and Alaska. San Francisco. This is what we know so far. So far. Within the containment zones, the alien ecosystem is in a continual evolution as incubation nests and their sprawling tissue it's fine, spawn so procedurally, it's fine. If somebody's taking over like that, the fine. front area of the map and reaction to the player presence. The parasite is All right, always guys, spreading. Todd, so far, uh, gay or banger? Gay or Damn banger? Let me know how you feel. About the operators you got erectile dysfunction or banger? What are we facing off against? Well, the black gulag sprawl is probably the first gulag. thing you will take on. It spreads to the map once oh, your presence shit. is detected, slowing progress and helping the Archings. Okay, Ubisoft bringing Some it. Some of the other threats they you may have seen in the trailer are the long-range spiker, the explosive breacher, the shape-shifting tormentors, and the apex. 
You're not bad. There's a lot more species of Arkings and mutations that have been observed. Venom. More to come good. on that it's very deep. soon. Yo, Mini. It's pretty Thank decent. Thank you both it's so much decent. for joining me. I'm really excited to dig into more of the details. We still have crossplay to talk about. Yes, that's right. Extraction will bring everyone together regardless of the platform. And for our Rainbow Six Siege community, we have exclusive unlocks for you in both games. Okay. Microtransactions. We've been waiting long enough. Let's take an exclusive first look at some gameplay footage. All right. Here Let's go, is Rainbow Six Extraction. Yeah, need gameplay, need gameplay. I was gonna say, cause gameplay needs, uh, gameplay matters. Yeah, guys, gameplay. Ain't looking that good compared to the, the CGI, which is, yeah, it's Welcome fine. to Rainbow but Six if it's Extraction, good, the new Gameplay tactical co-op shooter game where Rainbow Six operators are dropped into alien territory. All right, now it looks good. I, I'll take it back. In today's walkthrough, we're on a mission to investigate anomalies identified at the Orpheus Research Center We're getting gameplay, don't worry. HQ will provide additional instructions. We need new data on the Yeah, you're going to see upload some. That's quite good. Adapted. Just the gameplay, not the CGI. Plant or maybe the two together. Don't see destroy them or we'll lose the trackers. As yeah, a squad of three, vibe. Ella, Alibi, and Sledge will use that their operator good. abilities to complete objectives, assist each other, and obliterate Archeans in their way. Throw spinning up. We need FOV slider on console too. Uh, this is pro probably PC gameplay. So yeah, they, it's rainbow, That's it's rainbow, easy for it's full-blown rainbow fight. Bring to life. Not so easy to eliminate in large numbers. I hope we can jump, because in rainbow you cannot jump, right? Nice and quiet. I hope in this mode we can. The reacts to intrusions in their ecosystem, including operators. Your name. Eliminate my target. So stealth tactics are the way to go. Um, okay, I love Call of Duty zombies a lot. Play I thought they would run for you. The they do, but... It's like missions, which is fine. It's like, uh, I would say extension from Call of Duty Ghost as well. Call of Duty Ghost! A little bit like that. With rainbow uh, mechanics and gameplay graphics. Uh, snoozer or banger? Parasite Sprawl, a substance that connects the whole ecosystem. Alert an Archean, and a nearby nest wakes up Graphics looks awful. Uh, they're pretty, uh, sprawl, not bad. But operators get slowed down. Take my guy out. The squad can use their react light to see bioluminescent properties in Archeans and in the environment. I'll say that, uh, to me, gameplay looks dope. Contrast helps to better identify targets. Yeah, it's like one, you're gonna play once or twice and that's it. I don't want that kind of mode. I want it to have survivability factor too. Identifying Archean variants helps good. the team determine the best approach to take them out. Okay, I, I think the thing that I'm trying to say here is that it needs a little bit of that chaos. Otherwise, it's fine. It looks, it looks odd. It needs, it, it, it needs that chaos. Hopefully, they show that. Maybe they are gonna show us now. Oh, not in the ball sack, bro. Not in the ball sack. Get out of there before the swarm appears. Don't push your luck. Go! Yeah, it has the Last of Us One vibes as well. All right, now they're running. Okay, okay. Run, motherfucker, run. Yeah. Now we're going to another level. Just that like missions. Close. Okay, it's fine. Here, it's fine. the team can regroup and resupply. Airlock doors will open onto the next sub zone, which will be tougher than. Welcome the first. back, Nathan. How you doing? Thank you for subscribing, brother. We need tissue samples from those Archies, and we need them gone. Use your React blade. That's Breacher here too. Your mind is not blown, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, thoughts, guys? One, if you're gonna buy it. Two, if not. And people are saying it's like $30. Yeah, if this is $30, yo, that's a bad move. That's a bad move. One down. We're not done yet. Uh, take two is on Monday. I'll stream that. That's your target. Don't put it to death. Like, it, it's yet. not bad, Get but it's sample. just that. We've like, a am I gonna buy it for thirty dollars? Nah. You know what I mean? It's not bad. It's really not bad, but it's just uh, it's dull. It's dull. Gameplay wise. The squad can use React Tech to go further. It gotta be free. It has to be. Otherwise, the there's no collect, way. The more tech they'll have at their disposal to fight off this threat. 
It's all about teamwork to outsmart the enemy. Barricade that spot. Yeah, G we need GTS X reveal, man. Creating a choke point is a good idea to increase the arc mine's efficiency. I saw the hostile. Yeah. But you know what? Thankfully, they started off with uh, at least something decent because Summer Game Fest was nothing but indie games, right? That's so you gotta be appreciative in that regard, man. That's uh, the special like button for me to be brave and actually Smasher say that. Incoming. Because I know many YouTubers will sing, you know? Oh, we got a big boss. Ooh, that mofo runs fast, bruh. Yeah, right in the right in the mommy milkers. Shoot him in the mommy milkers. Wow, that did it. Take oh, wow, okay. Okay. No leader okay. for the Archies okay. to follow. Another objective completed. Chutia Gandu. Uh, yeah, the squad can either exfil at the extraction uh, point to bring home the last one. Salad Chutia Banani. Chutia Banani. The next airlock. The third subzone will be the most challenging yet. A true test of both tactical yeah, team strategy me, yeah. and Chutia operating Banani. reflexes. If you speak Hindi or Urdu, you know what I'm saying. Uh, but. Some Arkeens are responding to an elite as if they're GTA 6 will come out no way we'd let at E3 2077. Hunt them down until the elite comes out of hiding. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Tier 3? Yo, Mofo got flowers on his head! He's shooting like what? He's shooting! He got flowers and shit! What the fuck, dude? Okay, so we have some variety of uh, enemies. Okay, right here, it looks good. It looks good, guys. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah it looks good. I know you, you guys are tough. We have a tough crowd today. The elite will um, up any second. Right here, okay, it looks good. Oh, shit. Yo, that reminds me of God of War 2 uh, on the PS2 days. They were like underground shit. Yo, what in the chat? Where my homies at? Where my God of War homies at? You know when there would be like a, like a, like a thing underground that would go underground? It reminds me of that. Where my God of War 2 homies at? We have an operator in stasis. Next! An operator is now MIA. Hopefully we see Microsoft exclusive tomorrow. Let's hope, Patrick. Like, we need Microsoft to do good, so Sony will do extra good. I mean, I I'm a Sony pony, but not like a blind Sony pony, right? Thanks for the two, brother. We need, we need good things. Uh, just because the way you say Garn Pardi in the sounds so funny. Yes, you that's right. Pardi, you know? So, when Garn Pardi, I'm going to say it. Yeah, Pardi, it's Pardi. And what do I do? Pardi. Why is it funny? Is it part of the game? Operators, it's time to unite and stand together against this emerging threat. Squad up with friends in co-op or step into the containment alone. Stay tuned for more Rainbow Six Extraction Intel coming very soon. No, no rainbow. No more if rainbow. No more rainbow. Is tough. Try learning guitar. Well, that was a segue. Ten years ago, Rocksmith redefined music learning by introducing the first console game that taught millions how to play guitar. Whether you're already an expert or just no, starting out, to get it. Rocksmith it has an approach pounds? that's for everyone. Really? I thought a it was fun free. and interactive way to learn guitar, You're playing saying, your favorite tell me songs. You're and in the decades since its release, our community and its impact have only amplified. This year, let's turn it up to 11 and see what's next for Rocksmith. All right, you know what? I want to take a moment to appreciate, just so I don't sound like a hater, because these are facts. Dude, Ubisoft does have a good co-host, all right? Like, it's not cringe, they're talking properly. Uh, the girl looking like a snack as well on top. Yeah, good host, good host. But gameplay, eh. Uh, but at least they're not showing indie games so far. At least, guys, gotta be thankful, man. You gotta be thankful, okay? I don't hate indie games, but every game is an indie game right now, so that's the problem. I'm thankful, right? Thankfully. But the fact that I... The fact that I just appreciated that fact, watch us getting indie games from now on. It, it always happens, man. I just opened up my mouth, and now we're gonna get uh, the, the beat still, right? Look at that guitar. Oh, I, I, shit, I'm getting Last of Us 2 vibes, man. I'm getting Last of Us 2 vibes. <laughs> it's not Guitar Hero? Uh, I'm from Pakistan, uh, Sam, that's why I know the language. How you doing, man? Guess what? It's $20? Yo, gotta be, gotta be something like that, but they need to make it free, honestly. But at the same time, like, I'm saying free sounds bad as well, bro. Like, n I understand not everything needs to be free. Surely devs would have poured their soul working on that. Regardless of whether I like it or you like it or you don't like it. Or, like, it doesn't matter if we like it or not. The, the fact is, they tried mm, working on it, so... Yeah, like, if it, it... It should not be $50. It should not be, like, $30. Yeah, maybe $20. But am I gonna get it? now? People who like it, they're probably gonna get it. Uh, you know what I mean, right? So there's that argument as well, like, 
not everything needs to be free, but... But yeah. Uh, smash the like button for me to be brave. Because it always has to open its mouth. Yeah, right? We all hit that guy. Like, the, the, the fact that I started appreciating... We started getting that. Like, the, the, you know, my... Bro, like, if you ever wanna... If you ever wanna lose money or something like that, if you... If you ever wanna lose money, don't ever come... Like, if you wanna make money, don't ever come to me. Because I'll probably say, yeah, man, good luck and shit. And the next day, you're probably gonna go broke. Yeah, so my, my luck is so bad, bro. So bad. Rocket, Rocksmith, uh, Ubisoft Original. Register, register for the PC close beta. No, don't register. I'm Arthur Von Nagel, producer at Ubisoft San Francisco. Kick my no, man, you love Mike. truly been a dream project Thank for, for me. the likes, thank for the As a tips, lifelong thank gamer for the and a touring like musician, Rocksmith is what I wish I had when I started learning music. And that's why I'm thrilled to share the next evolution of music learning, Rocksmith Plus a new interactive music learning subscription service available this year. Thank you guys year. for coming on to learn. Learn how to play guitar and bass by playing along to master recordings of your favorite songs. Connect your instrument to your PC, you wanna console, learn the flute? or mobile device you. and get real-time feedback as you welcome play. To the, welcome to my YouTube Rocksmith tutorial, Plus boys. will be easier than ever now that you can use your phone as a microphone. Download the app, Log in. They're teaching to people, guys. Plus, they're teaching. Down, you, we have a tough crowd out here, guys. They're teaching us the music. Wow, you know, free and YouTube tutorials, boys. With no extra gear needed. We're getting it's free YouTube changer. tutorials. Y'all are not mind blown. What the fuck? Uh, we're excited to reveal. Y'all need to move and put some respect on that. Songs okay. At launch. All songs in the library will have chord I charts lost my that'll be perfect for rhythm players who want to learn the foundation of a song to hum and strum along to. We'll still have the note-for-note -note authentic arrangements for players that want to play songs exactly how the artists originally played them. And each week, we'll release a steady stream of new authentic arrangements to keep growing that portion but of the library. Aside, though, We're uh, also introducing if you're into games the like that, if you're a musician, workshop. this is good a new tool that lets users create and add their own arrangements for songs we've licensed. Your subscription will give you access to all those songs. More content than ever before, including genres beyond rock. We'll have pop, hip hop, country, Latin, R&B, all sorts of metal subgenres. I, I know everybody's we'll saying skip skip, but if you're a musician, world, from if you love games like that, I want to know your expertise. One, if you like it, two, if you don't like it. I get it, y'all motherfuckers don't like it, uh, but only people who are into music uh, and shit like that, who, who want to do the guitars and stuff, only you are allowed to talk, okay? Everybody, zip it up, okay? No talking, okay? No talking, no talking. Uh, only people who uh, play it, uh, let me know your opinion. We've improved those features in Rocksmith Plus and are introducing ones, new ones. Two. Beginner and intermediate players will benefit from more personalized I'll give everybody learning, a chance to speak. Thanks to an enhanced recommendation but system and more robust progress tracking. Twos, players won't just okay. see their growth a lot of, on a, a lot single more twos, song. Yeah, for sure. They can now monitor their progress technique by technique across the board. And overall, offer a better sense of how you're improving over time. Advanced players will be happy to know we're introducing a new Rocksmith tablet review. Skill that way you can take answer. advantage of Rock Plus' song young. library and practice tools in a format that's Charles, familiar love you, and one that will you. hone your tab reading skills. We're excited to announce that you can register for a chance to participate in our closed beta right after the show. Visit okay. our website okay. at rocksmith.com right. to get an early look at Rocksmith Plus and help us test and Ubisoft create the future just, of uh, music learning. Change their name to Thank music you soft. so much to the amazing fans who have enjoyed and supported Rocksmith music over soft, the past everybody. 10 years. Let's jam together with Rocksmith Plus for jamming? another 10. Yo, Mike, we Register get it. Register now for a chance to play the Rocksmith you don't like Plus anything. beta. Thank you, Jaden. Summer's coming, and nothing gets thrill seekers' blood flowing like bright sun and fresh trails. And Riders Republic will give them just that. Last year, you got a first look at our massive multiplayer outdoor sports extravaganza. Since then, the project's grown by jumps and grinds. Thank you, Kate. Okay, so the project has been grown. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, that's good. That's good. This game is decent. I like games like that. I like games like that. They're fun. Thoughts? One if you like it, two if you don't like it. 
Greetings, thrill seekers. This is the Rider's Ridge, the Republic's stomping ground. From here, yeah, this game you is fun. This game is fun. It looks fun, though. Manage your career. Ones, twos. Oh shit! Okay, people Learn don't to like nail it. Those wild moves. We have a tough crowd, I guess, right? Stay stylish. Tough Share your creations it's with dude. the public. Stay on top of the latest news. And take up some ferocious multiplayer action, like Free For All or Trick Battle, our 6 versus 6 team competition. Right in the gameplay, okay. Yeah, not bad. Graphics are pretty good. So, yeah, I got that TikTok works. stuff. Performing so. big tricks on the modules will turn them from Yo, red I love to games blue. Like that, Every man. trick that you stomp will contribute to your team's overall score. I used to play so a lot of me? that. Okay. Uh, there was a when game your called SSX turned all the Cricky. Blue, I used to play that on PS2. Which will help multiply your score into the big time. Anybody remember SSX Tricky? Progress, progress, progress. To unlock more content, you gotta earn those stars. Oh, yo, V, really, guys, I get it, you don't like so, it, I, I get it. you wanna I be the it. boss of your own it's career, not it's not good. The world nice. most famous competition. I got you, man, I'm gonna yell at them, I'm gonna yell at them for you guys. You played the SSX Tricky? Bro, that, that shit was lit. On PS2 mini uh, chapter. Yeah, this is badass, like, I love it, I love it. Now, some might say the best parts of the Republic can be found in the city playground. We've got modules that you can slay for days. This event is Poggers? So far it's Poggers. Ooh, look at that. Maybe you're all about living on the edge. Yo, I like that. Either way, to progress, you Watch gotta Wanda earn those stars. Uh, Having the right rig. If, if you know what I'm too. talking about, they, uh, Wanderhar uh, from a Call of Duty dev, he recently came out and he was uh, talking trash about Battlefield. Like, can they copy my game? Uh, watch Wanderhar say that. I love Wanderhar, by the way, nothing against him. Uh, but it was funny, right? Like, he would say that they copy that black out uh, jetpacks or that, that wingsuit thingy. Yo, this is looking fire, bro. I love it. All right, I get That's it. Fire. Sometimes you for just want to explore and bathe in nature. This is GTA 6 gameplay, guys. Oh shit, my man got a... Yo, Ubisoft finally has something that... That looks fun. Finally. That's right. Can Everything you, you do counts. Getting those stars means more rad to be had. And the Republic will abide. There's always something awesome to do as you reach new milestones and unlock more challenges. Uh, yo, talk. anybody who's a mod, just block lickcasino.com. That, that, that type of people that are trying to scam, you block them dead ass. Not even time out, just block them dead ass. P they're trying to scam people of money, so I don't want that. Versus your friends. There is so, so much more. More stunts. I'll unbend them after, but block them. More sports. More events. But uh, you don't okay. block anyone else, alright? Don't block a natural else. outdoor playground for you and your friends to enjoy. Any way that you want. No, this is Poggers. Dude, the colors are so when good. When we say fun with everyone, we mean it. Look at all these riders. Does this speak to you? Then don't miss out on mass races. <laughs> Woo! Yo, the colors are good. Let's go, baby! Yeah, I can see myself playing this game. If you play a lot of Call of Duty games, you know the skill this man's making is tied, right? Why would you unblock them? Because I want them to come back and get blocked once again, okay? That's basically why. It helps with the YouTube algorithm as well, so, you know, why block people, right? I, I, I don't like blocking anybody. Don't keep the mountains those waiting. People, they're Riders trying to scam Republic people, is so. coming September 2nd, and you can pre-order now and claim your right to rip. September 2nd, okay. Okay, so we've seen some of our favorite Rainbow Six operators battling alien parasites. But how's their day job going? You know, ever since Crimson Heist, we're still trying to clear all those pesky Flores drones off the maps. 
Year six is off to a blazing start, with Siege passing 200,000 concurrent players a few weeks ago. I'm shocked that it's coming from Ubisoft. If you haven't joined in yet, 2021 is the perfect time to drop in. I kept trying to tell you, yeah, not 20. I, I know about this game. It's just that I forgot that this was the game you were talking about. Uh, when you told me to watch Riders Republic, I did watch it after stream, and I was like, "Yo, shit, that's the same game that I I, I remember uh, streaming like like a couple of months back when they revealed it first. Nah, man, dude, I'm Riders Republic, looking good, Siege looking very good. To our journey with Siege, we are humble and grateful for the enthusiastic community that has supported. Hundred percent into it, man. So today is all about sharing quality of life developments Thank you, Tony. Love that you, will dramatically improve player experience. With the community yes. growing every day, we've been hard at work finding ways to improve your ability to play with your friends. Monkey, your talks we love you, brother. On June 30th, we are unifying our PC and cloud-based platforms with crossplay and cross-progression. That means that any player on Amazon Luna, Stadia, or PC Google will be Stadia. able to tune to games together Google Stadia. while having a unified account progression. And for console players, in early 2022, crossplay will be available between PlayStation and Xbox platform, Xbox. and the cross progression will be available Xbox, between Xbox. all platforms. Dude, one thing but about Ubisoft is that they give everybody in order to prepare and make uh, sure they have a smooth launch. Bringing these player bases together benefits everyone. It will finally allow you to play now, with Tony, your you the man, across brother. different platforms. Yo, Southern Boss, once again, I'm like, I know. You, you upgraded to Stun Woman, you love that shit, bro. Play. We Thank know Crossplay is a feature well, a lot of the VIP been lounges, bro. and we are thrilled you, to see the enthusiasm its announcement has inspired. Thank you for From becoming a member, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The awesome Cosplays. The Rainbow Six community is the lifeblood of this game Yo, that's like Dr. Disrespect right there, you know? We cannot thank you enough thank for you, your Marzia, support. Thank you, Marzia, for subscribing. It is because of you that Siege keeps evolving and growing. Eekbox. He to really did say Eekbox. Here's a brand new animated trailer starring Thunderbird, the new Defender joining Team Rainbow. Check this out. Check this out. Yeah, Xbox. X, uh, Xbox. X, uh, e Xbox. Xbox. Yeah, that's how you say in French. Uh, if a French pe person Ready? is talking in English. Six years ago, I met a pilot. She saved my life. Save my life. Save my life. Uh, okay. Oh damn. oh damn. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, man, I love the French accent. GTA is in Monday. Let's hope they show us the remaster game, bro. What does it do? Rainbow Six Siege has literally been out <laughs> for six years. Bro, I don't understand it. That's one Chuck. thing you can appreciate about Ubisoft, but it's time to stop Ubisoft. Give us Rainbow Six Siege 2. Love. I don't. I, I don't play it. I played Bravery. it once. I gotta still play it. I, I don't know. Like, okay, Listen, if you're a fan of, get this bird in the air. if you're a fan of Rainbow Six Siege, Yo, do you really want to see another Rainbow game, like a new one? With like much better graphics. Uh, rainbow graphics are pretty good. But do you want to see like another rainbow? Yeah or nay? I want to know from the fans because I only played it once. I gotta play it again. But you know I cannot give my opinion whether. But but as an outsider looking in, I would love there. Would I would love it if there's another one because like, you know what I mean, right? But if you're a fan, only you have the rights. Okay. Yes. No. New siege game. I would. As an outsider, I would say yeah. But. Nice line as it is. Okay, that's fair. Oh, and a new engine. Hey, I've never played Rainbow. It looks too slow. They did. I, I played it once. You cannot jump. I don't want to complain because people were like, "That's why Rainbow is like that. You cannot jump. It's realistic." Wait, uh, that's it? Which is fair. Which is fair. What happened next? But it's it's it, it's a game. It, it's a that? game of its own. Right? Like it's a one of a kind. It's a one. It's one of a kind. People love it. Because it's uh, different from Battlefield and Call of Duty. That's why people love it. It's very tactical. Uh, there's a ba uh, fan base for New that. New projects so, aren't yeah. the only things to be excited about this year. Take a look at the incredible updates coming to our live games in 2021. Oh, live games. Oh shit, microtransaction. Money, boys, money, money. This game looks is looking good. Like Paul, guys. Yeah, honestly, I don't know what it is. But Ubisoft stream, maybe my, my standards are going down, but yo, Ubisoft stream has been way better so far compared to other streams. You agree? You disagree? Like, we had so many streams in the past couple of months that were real bad. If you say, if you said this is bad, uh, I mean, I respect it, but like, in my opinion, this has been way better than other streams. Because we had like Summer Game Fest just two days ago, and previously we had like a ton of like, 
uh, other streams. It was indie game after indie game. Like, goddamn, bro. Like, this is this is good. This is good. Maybe our standards are going down. I don't know, but agree, disagree. Yeah, I agree. No, I disagree. Okay. Uh, Master Assassin says two. Fallen Ghost says three. So, what games are out? They showed that Riders Republic and this Fall Guy looking game, and they showed us uh, Rainbow Six Siege uh, Alien mode. Alien zombie mode. Uh, it's pretty decent, but not mind blowing. But Riders Republic, that's that's good. That's fun. Watch Dogs Legion, Lead Lane. That's a DLC, I think. Is that a DLC? Oh, Aiden Pierce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! They're, are they already coming out with a DLC? Ubisoft is a content machine, man. They're putting so much content out. People don't even care, you know what I mean? But Ubisoft don't stop, man. That's the thing. Check your Twitter. Thank you for the five, brother. Let me check. From what happened? What's your Twitter at? experience to oh, the latest okay, teammate update. Yo, for real? Ghost Recon Breakpoint Yo, keeps no evolving. Way. Thanks to your feedback. Yo, holy mother of God, bro. Mother of piss. But that's not all. As 2021 Your Rainbow the Extraction, $59? $59? We are happy to announce that there are still many more Yeah, Alex, thank you for the for letting me know. Stay tuned, ghosts. Yeah! Dude, this should be free. I, I was saying, bro, I wouldn't even buy for $20, but it's it, just things have always wanna, been about connecting with friends and family. If you wanna You're in good company. If you wanna price it $20, then I would be you know what? I'm not against uh them charging money like i explained it before and i'll still say dude uh you worked on it yes you 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 have the right to charge people the monies 20 dollars in my opinion that's fine yes i'm not gonna get it but people who like it they can get it 20 dollars in my opinion is fine uh but 60 dollars that's like more than half a benji that's like three andrew jackson okay anyways boys uh anyways I was appreciating Ubisoft, but Richard. Hello, my name is Todd Recall, and I'm a single It's a new game, not a actor, DLC. Director and choreographer. But I'm but sixty dollars to too much for that. My for song Nell's Hair Hips Hills is going to be a part of Just Dance 2022. Gameplay boys, content, content. But that's not. Uh, all. But but you oh, know no. what? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you like it, uh, and if you think sixty dollars worth it for you, go for it. Hundred percent. I'm nobody to say otherwise, right? Like I don't want to be. Uh, but for me, that's too much. As a YouTuber, yes, it's not too much for me because I can buy and stream, and that's content. I get that. But as a gamer, nah, not for me. But if it's for you, if you think you're gonna spend hundred hours or how many hours, uh, it's worth for you. Then it's worth for you. You just gotta look at it that way. If for me, if I'm gonna spend hundred uh, hundred hours, then that's worth it. TikTok boys, he did it for the TikTok likes. Time, and I can assure you, you will not just play. He or she don't wanna see genders. I'll get canceled. Handcrafted specifically for Just Dance, and let me tell you something: they're full of sass because you know they were written by yours truly. Sass. But I guarantee they are going to Yo, give people Chad, so much confidence. Tough, That's we have the a reason tough why crowd. I wrote Nails Her Hips Hills, and now it's been Just Danceified. I don't think What's they're good, ready homie? for this job. Yeah, Rob, I hope you all have five, just bro. as much fun dancing to this track as I had making it. Oh, and one last thing: you will have the opportunity to be a part of the making of my new yeah, video, yeah. which will be released alongside the new Just Dance track. For more I'm doing good, man. What about you? Participate, darling. Just check the link below. Did, we got you. Did he or she say, darling? Did he or she? Okay, hold on. Life and being the run that back. Run that back. With the group to work out or just to have fun, it's going to be a great time, and I can assure you, you will not just play; you will absolutely slay. The new lyrics were he handcrafted specifically. Specifically for Just Dance, and let me tell you something, they're full of sass because, you know, they were written by yours truly, but I guarantee they are going to give people so much confidence. That's the reason why I wrote Nails Are Hip Seals, and now it's been Just Danceified. I don't think they're ready for this jelly. I hope you all have just as much oh, fun jelly, dancing okay. to this track. Get our bike. Jelly, jelly. It was a big year for the new chief of the Raven Clan, but your journey with Eivor is far from over. Oh, far from over? Thank you for the one paper, Southern guy. Yeah, you wanted to take place of the role, right? You couldn't, you couldn't see him being below the chat, so you had to tip a dollar to, to uh, take the place. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you for the one paper. Love you all for uh, 1.3k likes. Love you all, Giga Chats. In November 2020, tough crowd, man. We, we have a tough crowd. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. To our delight, it was the biggest launch for any Assassin's Creed game to date. 
and we have you to thank for that. Becoming Eivor, a Viking leader going on a quest to fight for a new home, is an adventure that resonated closely with many of you. I certainly had fun Thank exploring you. England with Eivor and stumbling across unique world events that left so me with no memorable side stories. Thank you, Eivor. <laughs> We're amazed to see Thank how you, you dedicated yourselves to the Viking lifestyle. You've led more wow, than 300 man. million Viking. raids in total. Yeah, and I heard more than 100 like spending million like buildings 10 billion hours settlements. and they couldn't even finish the Congrats. game. Avor still has a long you cannot journey please ahead, anybody, man. and we've been continuing to offer free People ask for longer for games and then they cannot finish the game, people complain about that too. These but there needs to be a decent, I would say, festivals, new quests, if the game is good, then game modes, 15 hours, 20 hours, Raids that's good. Update. But this game, and the anybody, uh, anybody who played Assassin's Creed Valhalla, yeah, have you finished it? And if you did, how many hours uh, instance, you had to put in to complete it? I want to know. Swords in the coming weeks. Thank you for subscribing, Kobo. Love you, brother. The team is also working brother. hard at tackling issues and improving the game experience for everyone. Aramis, thank you for We've the two. Tracking various known Love issues you, brother. On our forums and also I, I think most people are trying to be edgy. It's the internet, so I see that. Uh, some people would be genuinely uh, saying mean stuff. And feedback. yeah, man, you cannot do and anything about it. Uh, thank you for the two. But I think most people game. are just memeing and just sarcasm. Uh, trying to be edgy. We're uh, also but building on Avor's story and the but world some people don't want shit to be forced as well. There's that aspect too. Wrath of the Druids released a few weeks she ago. Bade. Took Along me three days. To explore so that's like a mysterious 72 cult. hours, you mean? The children of Danim. 72 hours of gameplay or just three days where you slept and... Uh, because apparently, believe it or not, in a day we have 24 hours. To relive uh, crazy, I know. I know, crazy. This is the most ambitious battle in Viking history. Taking oh, place shit. in war-torn Francia. You'll have to do everything in your power to uncover enemy secrets. But I love the homies, man. I love the homies. I love the homies. In order to safeguard your clan's future. Players may be excited to learn that black box infiltration missions Three days without are sleep? returning. Damn. This means you're Not given you a captain. goal for a mission. I don't believe you. But how Best you'll achieve it is up to you. 72 hours of gameplay. Okay, God. Yo, that's crazy. Weapons. Assassin. Assassin gear, punk. And of that's course, assassin new punk. enemies. Watch out for the Siege of Paris coming this summer. But Assassin's graphics Creed are pretty good though. Focus There's lore. On the exploration of history, and we are happy to announce that the yes, new Sir Discovery Slayer, I have, Tour we were will be talking released about it. this fall. We It'll took free to time to talk about that because that was good. Bro. Explore the world and take a deeper dive into the history of the Viking Age. The team has crafted a new experience where you'll get to play as people during the time of Vikings and follow them in their endeavors, big and small, while collecting exclusive rewards. Whether you're an Assassin's Creed fan with a heart for history or a student looking to supplement your knowledge, the Discovery Tour Viking Age will have you covered. Assassin's Creed Valhalla doesn't stop here. For the first oh, time shit. on an Assassin's Creed title, it we'll be stop. supporting the game well into its second year. Well, this year will be a very active year for the game. We're already shock, working man. on more expansions for next year. Gandu, you Something soft? tells me that Eivor is not done with Odin yet. Oh my god. Okay, if you're a fan of this game, you view this as good news or bad news? I wanna know. One if good, two bad. Yo, that's gotta work. Yo, that's gotta work and shit. Yo, that, this game will never end. More to come. Yup. Bring it in, man. Bring it in. This game, you can never finish this game, bro. Uh, Fortnite 3. So you've seen some four. great games from Fortnite us. 4, bro. But we also what have about, news about the movies and TV man? series we've been working on. Good, Our bad. Ubisoft film and television team has some exclusive content to share. Up first is Mythic Quest, the workplace comedy set in a game development studio that's streaming on it's Apple fine, TV+. It's fine, Marcus. Plus. I'll find a link. If you haven't watched uh, the second season yet, here's a look at what you've been missing before the upcoming season finale. I'll find the link. You're good, man. I love you, man. Why do you have goosebumps? This is an involuntary reaction to... Being inspired? I was emotionally manipulated. What's the difference? The best and most imposter. <laughs> Yay! That's it, that's it, that's it. Except make it about me and not the world. I feel really seen and heard. I don't want to see you or hear you. She played us to get what she wanted. She inspired us. She emotionally manipulated us. What's the difference? 
Apple TV Plus. Now nah, get that. Fine. Up get next that, is an exclusive fine. look at a new trailer for our feature-length movie, Werewolves Within. It's a whodunit with teeth that'll be coming monkey. in theaters June 25th and on demand July 2nd. Monkey! Monkey! Hello, everyone. I am Josh Rubin, the no. director no. of no. Werewolves no. Within. No. No. Next. And I'm Sam Richardson, the star of Werewolves Within. Next. Werewolves Within was based off a of Ubisoft game, and we're so excited to bring you an exclusive look. Just we for you. won games. Check it out. We won games. We won games. Where'd the crowd at? Yo, the Ubisoft are making a movie. Effed. Something's wrong with the generator. Oh, I'm shaking. Also, there's a dead body under your porch. Ah! Ubisoft making a movie. Yeah. I'm gonna go get a L or W. Out of curiosity, who is packing? We having a good old-fashioned sleepover. With guns, though. With guns, you be yes. stop making a movie? You be stop making a movie right now? Everybody's going, how the heck? <laughs> Not uh, littering, I'm just excited. Not judging, just watching. America, I guess. Come into the another fucking day, yeah. Okay, June 25th. Follow Mythic Quest on Apple TV Plus. And be sure to catch it's Werewolves movie, Within this Not summer. In theaters or on your uh, on-demand platforms. Else. No hero's story is complete without a great rival to match them. After all, even the most vile tyrant is a star of their own narrative. When it comes to memorable villains, no one does it better than Far Cry. Okay, Far Cry. All right, okay, okay, okay. Far Cry game play. Park our game plan. Commercial Please, break. We have to get on that boat. Abuela, what the hell I'm gonna do with baseball cards? Do you have any idea what these are worth? Let All us right, do. All right, Park our game plan. Marco, always making new friends. Danny, you're late. Where's Alejo? He gave up his ticket for his family. Bullshit. Alejo is an orphan. Alejo's not going anywhere anymore. Come on, Marco. <sighs> Let them on. You're checking that Far Cry 6 Good game, man. please. Get out of the fuck, Get the fuck. Let's go, baby. All right, be good. Send to this. Thank you, Sports Star. Don't worry about it, Chamaco. Here. Graphics Hello, are not God. bad. I, I know they're not like over the top crazy, but they're not bad, guys. Danny. We should be fighting. You guys are tough, man. To the young keys. Alejo gave you guys are very a tough, bro. gift, Lira. We survive. I get same it. Same as the orphanage, I get it, same as the academy. What's that? Please, no, no, this is a fishing boat. You be on, no, no. Oh, man, that's so sus, huh? Shots fired. You know, that's like, uh, that's a lot of kilograms walking on top. That's a lot of kilograms. You hear that? A lot of kilograms. Oh, man, son. Everybody sus? Before he was El Presidente, me papa loved to fish. Me papa. We would go out on a boat, just like this. And we would catch the fish and then release them. He would say, it's not always about your stomach, mijo. It's about the challenge. Except when he caught a big, fat, juicy marlin. Ha, <laughs> he was too proud to let that fish go. Sick, Tirano! You have poison, Yara! You have poison, your son! Just slap him, slap him. Oh, damn, son. She got shot down. I have caught a very big fish today. Have a nine, Diego. Diego! That's EDP four four five walking, bruh. No way. Not the no no not him no not the. Not him or her. I, I, I don't know if it's Diego. a he or a her. <laughs> I don't know. Now it's time Chad, to let me know, man, before I make a mistake. Live smash the like button for me to make this anymore, mistakes. Papa. Oh, we have got no it, choice. Papa. Let them go. They can work. Make it's me veto. Truth. It's a he or lies. It's a he. Truth. They could be good workers. They could help rebuild paradise. But 
What if you wanted them to live? Cyber guy? Cyber Crisis? Food on this fucking boat. Cyber Crisis. years old. And Diego has such compassion for his people. These fish? We will catch and release. Okay, okay. They're taking the kiddo away. Oh shit. Oh shit, everybody there? Oh damn. Okay, that's a plot twist. That's a big plot twist. So, uh, guys, alright, be honest. Cyber Cry 6? Or, uh. You've just Fire seen Cry another disturbing lesson from Anton Castillo. Oh, Passed down to his son Diego as he grooms him to become the future ruler of Yara. Remember the most Norris important part ending? of crafting a Far Cry yeah, villain isn't the fact that they're evil or shocking. It's that there's someone that could sit across from you at the dinner table and charm you into thinking that everything they believe, no matter how yeah, twisted or hard. horrifying, could be absolutely true. That's the tough secret crowd, to Anton's power. And we tough couldn't crowd. be prouder to have him join the Far Cry family. Now, when creating Anton, we had quite a lot to live up to. Because when you think Far Cry, you think about its rich legacy of villains. Oh, damn. Which makes today a very special day for Far Cry fans. Not only did we get to see into the mind of Anton Castillo, we finally get to unveil some of our post-launch plans. Our dream was to honor the Far Cry villain's tradition and introduce a brand new experience. It is time to see the other side. Go further down the rabbit hole and it's up to you to find a way out. Guys, graphics are not everything. If I can find that meme to demonstrate that, I'll, I will... What is going on? Who's watching? Donation just because I don't see Mike anymore. <laughs> Yalla, why? Thank you for the five, brother. What's okay. What do you do, okay? Thank you. Guys, graphics are not everything, you know? Just like how hot chicks are not everything. It's all about personality. It's all about the gameplay, okay? And story. If she's looking like a snake, but she cannot cook and clean, then I don't want her, man. I don't want her, man. Peekaboo, motherfucker. Yeah, exactly. You are West. Oh, damn. Am I? Thanks for the fire, brother. I too am a king who isn't afraid to slaughter. To uh, Ditya Gurg, your chat is not visible. We cannot see you, sadly. Ah, uh, we can see you, we can see you. Is this a test? A dream? An opportunity? Then I will not waste it. A dangerous... Cyber? Cyber cry? That cyber cry right there. It's the simulation and shit. You are beyond salvation. Okay. I ever tell you the definition of insanity? Cyber cry. Yo, they got the season pass. They got the season pass. Ah, oh, hell no, nah. dude. For a for a single flick, it, bro. The season. Okay, but but it's fine though. It's fine. Like if it's gonna have content, that's fine. But. Bro, oh, damn, dude. I did not see that coming. They, they got Far Cry 3, though. It got some good content. It got some good content. Far Cry Season 6, pre-order now. Okay, I'm not. I'm kind of confused. You get we're Far Cry so 3 as a whole, or just We're so excited for you all to check out character. this next game. Oof, Neil, I can't Money. wait to get my hands on this one. Yeah, I'm confused as well. Like, I, I don't know. I'm, maybe I'm retarded. Uh, anyone was paying attention, let me know, man. I What, what the season pass did I give? Like... But it's fine, it's fine, you know what? Hmm. Thank you, Toby, for subscribing. Love you, brother. The bell. Money! <laughs> Lamar, you got me after. Far Cry 6 Battle Pass. Everybody getting Battle Pass. But Far Cry 6 looking good, though. Like, um, I know you guys are very tough right now, so... Y'all are picking up on little things. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. Crowd needs to be tough. Otherwise, there's no crowd. Mario, Ubisoft owns Mario. Mario, good. Mario, good.
Aliens coming down. Mario in a spaceship with the bunnies. What the flip? <laughs> sadly, guys. Sadly, sadly. Oh, game. Mario Punk, is that you? Cyber Mario, Cyber Mario. And you know it's relevant. It's cyber. All of that is kind of cyberish. Oh, damn. Yeah, I gotta get the the TikTok mobile phone. Now this looking cool though. It's looking cool, man. I mean, if you're a dad, uh, if you got kids, then it's gonna be good for the kids. And sometimes even for yourself as well, uh, if you're into games like that. I know you guys are very tough right now. I get it. I get it. I, I might get canceled. Loa, I'm becoming a member. Yo, what up, dude? Thank you for becoming a member, man. Much love, brother. Welcome on in. Hop on in, man. Hop on in. Welcome to the VIP lounges. Thank you, thank you. Walking all kind of sus. And we got a big booty, dude. Big booty, babe. A lot of kilo kilograms just landed. Thank you, baby. Love you, brother. This is for kids? Yeah, man. No shit. But even... Uh, even older guys and girls can play it, honestly. Like, like, I'll tell you what, man. If the game is fun, I don't care what it is. If the game is fun, the game is fun. If you got good gameplay, fast, fun gameplay, there's a story, then that's all that matters. Right. Uh, to me, at least. I know we're all different, but... Mario plus Rabbids. Sparks of Hope. I mean, it looks kind of fun, but am I gonna buy it? Nah, most likely not. But it looks fun. It is what it is, you know? It is what it is. Uh, Craig, I'll tell you what, man. Ubisoft has been way better than other streams. I know I know my st my standards are falling, but let me tell you what, man, the last couple of months streams were real bad, bro. We were getting mobile games after mobile games after indie games after indie games. But this time, we did get some good stuff. Decent stuff. I know my standards are falling. Bully me. Um, I deserve it. ...of Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom battle. And for this project, we didn't want to stop there. You probably couldn't uh, buy it even if you Hi, wanted to because it's an Nintendo Mario the uh, Exactly. Are back. You're right. And I'm so excited to be back as well today to unveil our new project, project. Mario Plus Rabbits Sparks of Hope. We are diving back <laughs> into this unique Mario crossover Plus. with even bigger ambition, expanding our universe on a major scale. This time it's not just the Mushroom Kingdom, there is an entire galaxy to save. Mario getting to do gangster. So, you will yep. lead a brave yet reckless team of unique right, heroes, brave, including brave, some friend. fresh faces like Rabbit's Rosalina and other surprises. Rabbit, a lot On of their air, quest air. to repel evil across the galaxy, their spaceship will bring them from brave. planet to planet. They will be facing a powerful villain, Cursor, an enemy unlike anything our heroes encountered before. If anybody... Just wanna quickly say that for two people who won't get it, I also speak French, I'm in Montreal, Canada, not trying to be racist, I just love the accent, right? I do speak French as well. Sparks. These surprising creatures, born from the merge of rabbits and lumas, will lend their wild powers to our Perverse. ears. Their natures and origin are at the core of our story. But let's keep some surprises for later. Now, I know, Brandon, but there are some uh, dumb motherfuckers out there, you know what I mean? So. After the tremendous success of Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, the entire team was moved by the amazing reception from players across Battle the world. Battle tomorrow, we that one guy? Stunned Je sais by the love we for this unexpected team-up. Damn, that's star is been uh, off the radar for a while evil. now, as his we wanted to take like the time needed the to bring this crossover to you the next tough. level. You are tough. It's not just a new story with new enemies, new heroes. You're racist. Mario Plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope has big ambitions. It introduces new action elements into the mix that will push the boundaries of tactical games even Bounties. further. That being Bounties. said, we also wish to offer an easy to play experience for all players, yet hard to master for those of you that are willing to take the challenge. And you will be able to experience this cosmic adventure exclusively on the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> we can't ah, wait to tell you more exclusively. about the game soon. 
There is an entire galaxy to save. And we cannot wait for you for to you. experience it. For you to experience it, my friend. For you. Thank you for subscribing, Jacob. What everybody do, okay? Hit the bell. Hit the bell, my man. I said free. Nah, man. Let me all do. Yeah, that's my reaction. The game looks alright, man, but. Yeah, man. I don't have Nintendo, though, so rip. Reno Republic. Uh, Torquil, we just got the gameplay teaser, but gameplay tomorrow. Uh, the stream, uh, okay, uh, Xbox tomorrow, uh, Xbox stream, Battlefield stream is gonna be tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern. I think that would be 6 p.m. UK time, or 5 p.m., um, I could be wrong. You gotta Google that, 1 p.m. Eastern. It's either 6 p.m. or 5 p.m. UK. Thank you, Doug, for subscribing. Love you, brother. Alright, what else are they gonna show? Yo, literally, everybody's subscribing, yo. Yeah, tomorrow is Battlefield gameplay and Xbox stream. I will be live streaming with the bell. I got you too. Crack, man. You are you both. You can normally five hours ahead of Eastern. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like six or five. Uh, but uh, the time constantly changes too, right? Like an hour, early hour before. So we're not so that's done what I'm yet. The one, but... Let's check in with our CEO, Eve Gimo. Eve Gimo. Eve Dima. Okay, so that's gonna be the some of the biggest names in biggest. entertainment trust our creative teams biggest. to develop games within their universes. For example, you just saw Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of O, developed in collaboration with Nintendo, where everyone's favorite Mario and Rabbit's characters return for an all new adventure. And speaking of great partnerships, there is one more exciting thing we would like to show you today. Oh, it one is more a thing, glimpse okay. of the amazing journey that awaits you in one of the most beautiful but dangerous places of all. Brought to life by the latest version of our Snowdrop engine. Thank you for subscribing. I'm excited to share hey, this I'm first Lofi. look Love with you. you now. Appreciate you. Enjoy. Enjoy! Alright, let's enjoy. Millions. Paper. Gameplay footage uh, powered uh, by Snowdrop. Oh, okay, Snowdrop looking uh, very, very good. Right now. Very good. Very good. If I see one motherfucker out there saying this graphic, uh, PlayStation 3, uh, PS2, I, I won't do anything. You can say that if you want to, so yeah, it's fine. Avatar? Is that you? I see some of you motherfuckers saying Avatar. Yo, it's Avatar, I think. Yeah. Yo, I watched that movie like years ago. I don't even remember the plot. I gotta rewatch it someday. Because I know for the time it was massive. Yeah, it's Avatar. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Todd's? Uh, I wanna, I wanna see, uh... Yo, where are the, where are the experts at? Yo, where are the experts at? You like it or nah? I like it, I like it. But gotta see gameplay, gotta see gameplay. So was it leaked or we did not see that coming? Yeah, this is big, this is big. 100%. 720, Xbox 720 graphics? Okay, fair. Yeah, Diana, I pulled some CC too. Yeah, so big. Avec le title que toi tu peux. Make sure you have gameplay thriller done. Deux fois. Uh, damn, wasn't expecting this same. So it wasn't leaked? Alright. I guess. Yo, Ubisoft delivered. Ubisoft delivered. Yeah, I would rate their event. 
easily 8 out of 10. Just because all of her streams were really bad. My standards have fallen, but this is good. It was announced centuries ago? Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, they uh But this is the first time we're seeing it, right? It's the Okay, I'm getting mixed right now. I know the movies are confirmed, but but I wasn't sure about the game the game here. 2022 Frontiers of Pandora. So thoughts? I mean, like this is massive. I did not see this coming though. New play releases. Sega, so on a scale from 1 to 10, how much would you rate it? You and I are gonna cash it up! How much would you rate it? 8.5 need gameplay, 3.5, 10, 7.5, salmon, 10, no gameplay. Yeah, that's the thing, we don't have gameplay. They're gonna save it for another one, maybe. Thank you all for 1.3k likes, love you all. Zero, bruh, you're tough. You're a tough guy to please me. You're a tough guy to please me. Terrible? Of course, everything is terrible. Uh, for you, Mike. We love you, homie. We love you, man. She do be looking like a snack, though. But the best game, I would say, was, uh, for me at least, the... Okay, Avatar looking decent, but Riders of the Republic, they they did it well with that. Riders of the Republic was Thanks good. to Eve and all the devs that joined us to share what's new with Ubisoft. Today, we bounced from our Keens in Rainbow Six Extraction. Learned some new songs in Rocksmith. Got an adrenaline rush from Riders Republic. Lit up the dance floor in Just Dance 2022. Visited new shores. Nah, don't do just Street dance. Don't do it. Very bad. Witness the chilling confrontation in Far Cry 6. Very bad. And teamed up with our favorite man in overalls in Mario plus Rabbit. Alex says that don't they didn't go deliver anywhere. a Splinter Cell There's still more to come in the post show. Thank you for the Bye fire. There's more to come in the post show. Okay, let's see what the post show is about. All the filming has been conducted in line with the local run if 19. Make sure you guys are washing your hands before smashing the like button. Uh, Lashpa, la, la patate, good stream. Yo, Andrew. Andre coming to the 50! Yo, that's half a that's half a Benji. Yo, I don't deserve that man. Why why drop 50 when you could just like could have done like five dollars or maybe become a member? Thank you, brother. Love you, man. Welcome thank you, thank you, man. But thoughts? I'm gonna chill with you guys and then call it. Thank you, uh, thank you for that, Alex and Andrew. Thank you, man. J'apprécie mon gars. C'est à Montréal aussi car ça dit André, uh, Andrew, uh, André, André Montréal 5 en 4. Uh, merci bro, my guy. Why City is better than San Andreas? Get that fault, okay? San Andreas is better. Okay, I want to have a fight before we end the stream. Why um, City? Why City? Why City or uh, San Andreas? Let's go look what I tagged you in Twitter on Twitter. Got you. Got you. Yo, that's a nice setup. Should I leak the setup, guys? Oh shit, he has GTA 6? Oh shit! Oh, should I leak it, guys? One if I should leak it. But even bigger than that, one if I should leak it. My yo, that's GTA 10 gameplay there. One of the famous characters you We also okay before I leak that, guys. Penguins. I really hope they don't nerf the penguins in Battlefield. If you did not see in the Antarctica Antarctica map, there are there are penguins and shit. You wanna see the leak gameplay? That's the. Uh, that's the look at that setup. Managed to get a position, but had no. Had to sell the furniture, bruh. Yo, these are our people. That's that's sad. That is real sad out there. People out there. San Andreas, yeah, San Andreas is the only uh, correct answer. I don't trust the Vice gang, uh, Vice City gang out there. I don't trust them. They bad, man. But yo, this homie, damn, bro. Damn, son. This homie bad. This homie down bad. Hurry, but ma, but ma Kumar. I think he's Indian. Yes, Sale ki garn phadgi. Sale ne furniture bech diya apne PlayStation 5 ke liye. He's in India, so I I think in India and Pakistan, like, uh, it's very hard to get, like, super expensive on top. People scamming each other, like, left and right. It, you know what I mean? So, man, just, yeah, that's sad. Thank you for the 50, my man. I love you, brother. Curry Cell? BF5 is on Game Pass? It's pretty much guaranteed to have BF BF6. Yeah, uh, they teased it on top as well. 
GTA Nokia Nage. India Indian God of War. Yeah, he do be he trying to play God of War though. Jose, what to do, man? Thank you for subscribing, brother. Yo, this game looking good. So if you're just coming on, they reveal the uh, they reveal the Avatar game. You speak Hindi in a weird way. Nah, man, what's weird? That's you know, Garn is a word in Hindi, you know, in Ur in Urdu as well. जब गान फट जाएगी तो मैं बताऊंगा ना कि फट गई है तो हिंदी तो ऐसे ही होती है उर्दू तो हिंदी ऐसी ही होती है अवतार लेट्स गो विल यू बी सॉफ्ट प्लस बी ऑन गेम पास दैट्स अ टफ क्वेश्चन आई डोंट नो आई डोंट नो डू यू नो व्हाई इन बट यू मिस्ड एवरीथिंग लॉ या इफ यू जस्ट कमिंग ऑन यू मिस्ड एवरीथिंग फॉर श्योर Thank you, Mr. Kevin Mooster, man. Love you, brother. Thank you all for 1.4k likes. Battle for this tomorrow. Yup, it is tomorrow. We got a we got a gameplay teaser today. Uh, unpack Sunny. Uh, Sua 808. What about you, brother? Where are you guys at? Where are you guys at? What country? What city? Let me know. Yeah, and it's also gonna have Max and robots, which is great. You're right. It does have a lot of video game stuff in it. I, you know what? Battle, uh, Battlefield 2042 short gameplay. Yep, we got a teaser gameplay today. This game looks trash. Everything looks trash. I know, man. Sad, right? Sad. Yubi Cap. Yubi. Yubi Cap. Yubi. Philadelphia. Tennessee. UK. Nepal. Pakistan. Hey, guess what, man? Guess who, Bhaijan? I, I. He says that he's from Pakistan, and I started speaking French there. Just get that far, man. Get on. Uh, I'm from Manchester. Got you. Poland. UK. Punjab. Kida paaji? Oh, kaise? Kaise ho TikTok man? Uh, when I'm going to? Uh, when am I going to be a moderator? Uh, ask me that tomorrow, and I'll get back to you in five years from now. All right, I got you, bro. Uh, toxic. I really cannot pronounce that. I'll, I'll butcher it, and you'll probably be made, man. You'll probably unsub after that, so I will not try to pronounce it. Man. Uh, cannot lose you, man. Pilsen, Czechia. Is that how you pronounce it? My bad, but I think Pilsen. That's how you pronounce it. At least the first word. Uh, Puerto Rico, Canada. I'm from UK. I, I know you're a homie. You're not gonna unsub. You know, real homies, real Giga Chess, They don't do that, man. Uh, Notorious. Thank you for subscribing. Hit the bell. Bangladesh. Kansas. Kansas City. Um, South Africa. Africa. Yo, we got like all kind of people, like literally from everywhere. Anybody from Mars? Anybody from Mars? Anybody from Mars? Like, am I not seeing anybody from Mars? That's that's crazy. You missed GTA 10,000 BC. Facts. My man is uh my man in the bot bottom bottom fourth window. Eight up blue. Oh, lost your comment. I'm from Mars. Now you're gonna say you're you're capping. That's crap. That's cap. Pro master, my man is uh bottom fourth, Ada blue now. Later, this, why his face look like that? I don't know, man. That's like fake. Oh, they're stream glitch. They're stream glitching right now. Damn son. Damn son. They're they're stream bad. Yeah, I think they're stream struck now. Yeah, you see, Ubi cap, Ubi cap. That's IGN, not Ubi cap. Ubi cap did a good stream. Ubi cap did a really good stream. But y'all were really tough, sadly, Walk sadly, in, sadly. Sometimes you guys bait. Set it down and play I don't even have a basement, the journey, man. I don't have a basement. Get my one, dude. I live in an apartment, bro. I don't have an, uh, I don't have that, man. It's a game changer. I'm from Among Us. I'm from Mars, India. Oh, Castle Hitesh Patel, Paji. Panipilia? Can I cut the panipiti? Uh, that's Patan accent, right? Yeah. Uh, I love the Patan accent too. I'm from Wakanda. Over the Queen, say hi. Wakanda forever, my man. Wakanda forever. Ever. Northern, uh, Northern Ireland. Yo, Ian, I see you, man. Uh, I, I, I see you on Twitter too. Love you, brother. Afghanistan from planet uh, Vegeta. Vegeta. I'm from Saturn. No, okay. Talk, you're, why are you copying no in the chat? Don't copy each other, each other, man. Don't copy. He said it first. He said it first. He said it first. Poopy soft. Oh, that was. They were talking about music soft here. Riders Republic, good man. That's a good game. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it here. We'll see you guys tomorrow with a stream. I will probably try and make a video for the Battlefield gameplay leak uh, that was had that happened. Uh, not like necessarily the gameplay leak, but the gameplay leaks in terms of the details. Because we're hearing that we're going to be getting Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 maps coming in Battlefield. Uh, that's the leak going around. Don't let your dogs out. We're going to dissect the information. We're going to talk about it. We have a gameplay to that. I'll, I'll try and make a short video and tomorrow we're having the Xbox uh, 
Series X stream and gameplay as well. I will be streaming that, so hit the bell. Uh, it's gonna be massive. I'm pumped for that, man. But see you in the next one, man. Thank you all for coming on and. Oh, oh I'm shaking. He's on board.